Welcome back, everyone, to what is this? Episode 11 of Silver Run Forest. So, um, yeah, I drove the truck back um, over here after we finished selling last episode last night. Um, and then I drove back to the hotel, slept, and then came back out here this morning, uh, parked our pickup over there instead of under here. I kind of got stuck under there last night trying to get out. So, excuse me. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, we're just going to go ahead and keep chugging along and try to get another good load of cash here today. And then um, I think tomorrow, uh, we will try to get another load of iron, hopefully done. Um, and then I think that they are scheduled to get the uh, building done, hopefully soon for Richard. So uh, we may be able to see that this episode if we can. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start working on doing some forestry stuff. Um, yeah, everything's going to be great. I think what I will do is I will put a time lapse in of me doing some forestry. It's not something I normally do. Um, I don't know how it'll look. So let me know if you guys absolutely despise and hate it. And then I don't have to do that again. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some forestry done. <laughs> Welcome back in everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse. It was a little chaotic. I had some issues with my wheel at the end. Otherwise I would have kept going until I finished, but my wheel was doing some weird things. It seems to hopefully be, I don't know. It's been having some issues. If I click off on my screen, it resets my settings and I have to open up the, uh, the G hub, which is the Logitech um, portal on my or Logitech thing that I have to reset the settings and redo them all. So slightly frustrating, but regardless of that, we have quite the full load of logs right here so we're going to take it up to sell it uh last time we got to nineteen thousand one hundred and forty four dollars for the load um this time i hope we're going to get some more and i am going to switch over to uh richard's account because he's the one that needs to get all the uh cash for it and then <clears throat> we will just take our 40 percent oh and my steering wheel settings have reset let me try to fix this real quick this is literally the worst uh Okay, let's try that. 
Nope, still didn't quite fix them. That's okay. What it's doing is, I don't, I don't know, it's just weird. The force feedback on it is extremely, extremely hard right now, which I don't know why it's not, uh, it's very odd. It's very odd. I don't know why it's uh, doing that, but uh, let me try to fix it one more time here. Okay. Okay, that fixed it for what <laughs> it's so odd. So odd. All right, let's get the probably should have some lights on here. So I think we'll yeah, we'll see how this goes getting down there. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, so there should be like a pretty quick route for us to take. Um, we're going to try to take that route if we can. Just drive around here. It's kind of like a shortcut, but not really Ooh, easy, does it? We don't want to. I don't know what we're stuck on, but we don't want to roll the truck, that's for sure. There's no traffic coming that way. There we go. Okay. We should be able to just drive down. We're going to see if I can do this without getting too lost. There should be another, like, uh, road just down here. I'm actually going to cheat a little bit here just so I don't... I'm going to just turn on that uh, map down there in the bottom. We should be able to take a right or left, excuse me, right here. Okay. I know you guys are probably taking your wagers right now to see if I crash or not on this trek. It's probably 50 50. We'll see. This kind of depends on how fast I get up and go on here. But uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Um, we're probably like a fifth of the way down. This is probably like a 50 episode series, quite honestly, uh, just with the intricacies of it. Now, I am going to a. Uh, Excuse me, I am going to a two-week class for work. It's a training. Um, it's a, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I wanted to go to it and I'm excited to go to it, but I also have to go to it. Um, but uh, yeah, so where, where I was going with that, I'll probably post one episode of No Man's Land that week and one episode, or each of the weeks, and then one episode of Silver and Forest each of those weeks. I am going to start pre-recording a little mini series that I'm excited to have um, out there. Um, and hopefully you guys like that. So it'll be kind of a, just a quick series, probably like 20 episodes-ish. Um, there'll be like one a day while I'm gone, and then uh, we'll do... Uh, see, we're doing pretty good right now, actually, quite honestly. But yeah, about one a day while I'm gone, and then uh, when I get back, if there needs to be a couple more, I'll do a couple more to kind of finish out the series. But uh, yeah, just kind of a quick series. I got a kind of a fun idea for it, and I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, basically, it's just going to be kind of like a challenge uh, like I normally do on a different map, so it'll be fun, I think. Get a drink of water there as we're driving. We should be able to take a right here. No traffic coming. Perfect. We're doing pretty good right now. And then well, I think we should be able to get maybe a load of iron as well this episode. I think that'd be helpful for us to make a little bit extra cash. Try not to crash us too bad here. Oh no! That was... Oh boy. That was not intentional. That was just bad luck, I think, is what we'll say. Um, well, this is awful. Well, I'm gonna have to call a tow truck and get a tow truck up here to help us get out of here. So I'll give the give a tow truck call and I'll see you guys hopefully here shortly. Well, no uh, tow truck yet. However, the good news is they, uh, they sent the trooper um, over just to make sure that the road stays closed off for now. Um, so he's there blocking the road right now, which was nice. Very nice guy. Very nice guy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so he said that we, he does have to give us a fine for flipping the truck over, and then we do have to, well, <clears throat> we do have to pay for the tow ourselves as well. So that's going to come out of our budget a little bit, but thankfully they should be able to get it upright without losing any of the logs off of it. So uh, anyhow, I'll see you guys after the tow truck gets here and hopefully gets us back up. And I am, in all seriousness, <laughs> I did not actually mean to do this. Um, I did not mean to do this. I did not want to crash. So, uh, yeah, there was nothing scripted about this crash. Just full disclosure there. So, but anyhow, yeah, I'll see you guys here in just a bit, hopefully when we're upright. All right, and we are upright and good to go. Um, thankfully, this truck has seen a lot of dam or seen a lot of stuff and we weren't going that fast on me. I flipped it there, so there's not really anything that needs to get fixed on it, which is nice. Um, we're going to try not to flip the truck again. And, um, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on. Let's see if we can get across this bridge without flipping it. Now I'm super nervous driving. 
as it should be. But yeah, a thousand dollars for the tow. Not surprising there just to flip us up. Thankfully, they didn't have to tow us anywhere, and then it was a two hundred fifty dollar fine for uh, the collision fee. So we'll have to take those out of our account uh, here once we get uh, situated. But that's okay. Twelve fifty could be worse. Could be worse. Now again, we made twenty thousand dollars off the last load, and then we only took again forty percent of that, so around eight grand. So I'm hoping we're gonna do a little bit better off of this load here. I need to probably stay in my lane a little bit better. I want to get too much speed probably going down this hill. There's no train coming. 15 miles an hour shouldn't roll it at that speed. That's good. There we go. Okay. We're making progress. We're going to pass our other buddy if he's still sitting up where he's sitting up here. The other cop that was up here earlier. I'm actually going to take the correct turn this time as well. I think we can turn uh, sooner to get uh, into the uh, lumber yard. I think we can take this next left right here. Yep, there's our buddy right there. Or use a turn signal. There we go. Ring coming. Let's go ahead and get across before we get any bad luck. For us, that would just be standard luck, honestly, at this point. Okay, and we made it. We have made it. We will see if we can back this baby in and sell these guys off. And then hopefully we get, gosh, I'm hoping this load's like 30,000 or so. It's definitely a better load than we had last time, I think. So let's see here. Second load of logs. Finally doing some good forestry work. I'm hoping in the spring we might be able to pick up a couple of farming contracts to make a little bit extra cash that way. That would be kind of nice. Should be good to sell right there. Let's go ahead and see what we get. In case anything goes awry, I'm going to go ahead and just save the game real quick. Maybe. There we go. Okay. And 15616, but we still have some in there. So let's check that out here in a second. Let me get a sticky note. 15616. Pretty good so far. Let's go get those guys unfastened. I think that was only like half of our load too. I think, I think we're gonna get lucky on this one. That should sell the rest of that off. Let's get back over there. It is dark on this map in the winter time. Of course, that's pretty much realistic, but um, okay. 7540, we're already above where we were at before, but there's still a log on there that we have to get rid of. Oh boy. One remaining log. That one's not going to sell for hardly anything, but that's okay. That's probably one of the ones I picked up and threw on there. 218. Yep, so not a lot there. So total, if I add those guys up real quick, that's 15616 plus 7546 plus 218. That puts us at 23380. So not great still. Uh, but if we multiply that times 40%, that means we get $9,352. So we're going to make about the same amount because we rolled the truck as we did yesterday, which, you know what? We'll take it. At this point, we will take it. So um, let's hop into our truck, and then let's go ahead and switch over to... Uh, where are we at here? I'm going to go to here, switch over to our farm, and then we're going to add in... Our, yeah, and our super strength was on. That's because I needed to roll the truck over. You guys didn't think I actually used a tow truck, right? I hope you guys didn't. Um, <laughs> uh, so 9352. There we go. And then remove money. We'll take the 1250 out for our fines and fees. And we're sitting at $34,000, which is not bad. Um, yeah, not bad at all. Um, yeah. And tomorrow we have to make a truck payment, but that won't be a big deal. Um, we can pay the truck off early if we want to, but there's no, like, bonus to doing that, so we'll probably just keep the loan open as long as we need to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drive this back up over to where we were at, and then I might take the pickup truck up over to the mine and just see how much is up over there, see if it's actually worth doing a load tonight or if we should just wait till tomorrow. So I'll see how much iron is out there, and then, uh, yeah, and then hopefully Richard's shop is done. I kind of want to go check that out as well. We'll have to check it out tomorrow. 
Um, he said it should be done by the end of November, so by tomorrow it should be in there. So I'll have to go check that out. But anyhow, regardless of that, I am going to go ahead and drive. I need to take this turn right here. I'm going to drive this baby back up over to our little forestry area, and then I will see you guys here uh, probably tomorrow, unless we're going to do a load of iron tonight. Then I'll see you guys again tonight. So I'll see you guys at some point. All right. Good morning, everyone. So we need to pay our $75 for the night. Boom, boom. And then we are going to go take a look at Richard's shop. He had some surprising news with me, um, which I will share with you guys once we get down there. Uh, very good news for us. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to head down there. We'll take a look at uh, Richard's shop here in a second. We actually need to stop by the bank and make our truck payment today. So we need to go do that real quick. See if I can do some in. It's so dark in this in cab driving. Actually, I'm going to stay out just for that. It's very dark in there. This map looks beautiful with the kind of the snow falling. Thankfully, nothing's stuck yet, so um, we don't have to deal with that, which is good. But uh, yeah, let's keep rocking and rolling here. If I can remember where the bank is. I think it's right over here. I'm starting to learn this town a little bit better. Well, I shouldn't say that until I actually pull up at the bank. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on this road. I want to say, yep, here it is. Look at that. All right. Let me go run in there and pay our loan real quick. All right, all set. Paid off that two grand. We can now head over take a look at Richard's new shop, which he said it looks really good, so I'm excited to hear about it. Or excited to see it. We've already heard about it. And again, big news for us as well. Um, probably shouldn't be driving this fast in town, but hey, what the heck? We're trying to get out of town, so as long as the, the police aren't around. Um, and this should, we should have actually gone that way maybe a little bit faster, but that's okay. We can head out this way past, uh, past the iron refinery or the iron smelter. I guess it's more of a smelter than a refinery. I think that'd probably be more accurate as to what to call this but uh, yeah other than that actually our only plan today probably uh, we might get a little bit of forestry done with Richard Stucks I think that's kind of what we can we can do so it'd be nice to get uh, maybe most of a load done today uh, we started a little late today because it was pretty dark um, it's just harder to see when you're working and stuff like that so uh, we'll just kind of have to see but uh, yeah we'll head out take a look at Richard's shop and we'll probably wrap up this episode but then today next episode we'll get a load of iron hauled hopefully and we'll kind of go from there so it's all clear and around the corner here all right up this way and then just across this bridge we should be able to find it he does say it looks pretty good based on how he described it it should be pretty sweet oh and i can already see that's a big building on the right hand side there Holy smokes. I can see that bad boy through the trees. Nice fence. Looks like a little fuel tank there. And yeah, look at that. They got that done right. Fencing all the way around. We should hop out and take a look. But yeah, so fuel tank there. That's awesome. A little washing station here. Marty does not gonna like that, but there's a washing station there. Some nice lighting around. Can we get in this way? Oh, I think we have to go in through our side door. We have to go in this way, I think, first. Then we can open it from in here. Yep, there we go. Oh, and I didn't even know there was a, uh... oh, oh. That's kind of nifty. You can paint that if you'd like to. I haven't been in this building. Is there a repair trigger in here? I didn't even know there was a repair trigger in this building, to be honest with you guys. Uh, that's kind of funny. Um. And that goes up and down. This is a nice shop. Great for parking stuff and do what you need to do. See if I can yeah, turn on exterior lights, turn on interior lights. Might as well have those on. Dark out here as it is. Those look great. Fantastic. Shut that back down for Richard. Close that back out. And then in here, we have, I know it's a German shed, bear with me. Um, we have another repair repair shop, repair trigger. So my understanding is he's going to park stuff in these sheds and do all that sort of stuff. But uh, 
nice to have some repair triggers so it's easier to repair some stuff and then around the corner here he had this built so it has uh oh i love that that's fantastic um it has a nice little uh garage downstairs and it's actually a finished garage which is really nice um i don't think there's any way to go there's no way to go up directly from the garage but uh, if you go upstairs here it's a nice little apartment He's got it all furnished out and everything like that. A bedroom, really straightforward, just a closet, bathroom, little kitchen area. So uh, Richard um, is gonna let us rent this. That's the good news. Now, um, it's not cheaper actually. It's We're paying right now $75 technically per day for the motel, which is $150 a month because we're in two day months. Richard's gonna charge us 150 bucks to rent this. Um, he asked how much I paid for the hotel and I told him and he said he'd charge me the same thing to have this available. And he said we can use this space, anything back on this side of the shop. He said we can use all this space around here. He said he just wants us to keep, obviously, this area open and all this open. He's going to use the big buildings. But he said we can use all the space back here and the garages. So now we actually have ourselves a nice little setup there, which is fantastic. fan freaking fantastic. So actually what we're going to do, let's get in this guy. And he says if we need to fix up our vehicles, we can use his tools as well, which is nice. So we just have to pay for parts, hopefully, now. As long as we know what we're doing, it's not anything too complicated if we're just doing some routine maintenance and everything. But this is fabulous. So uh, very kind of Richard uh, to let us do that. Now, again, we are working for him. So I don't know if that'll be the case when we start our own company and stop working for him. I'm assuming probably not. He said that he didn't build it for us either. I should note that. He said that... Um, he wanted to have like a guest apartment um, in case he had family or anything like that that came to visit. But uh, he said he doesn't have any immediate plans for family to come visit or anything like that. And honestly, his house, he said, has plenty of room anyway. So um, it was just something he wanted to put on the property just in case he ever needed it. And so he did. And he decided that he might as well rent it out to us so he can make a little bit of money off of it. Um, and just as kind of a favor to us. So I definitely appreciate that. Thank you, Richard. Let's go ahead and see if we can't. I think we'll park it on this side over here. We do actually have a decent amount of room over here, which is really nice. So it's kind of like our first little yard. Eventually, we'll buy our own plot of land and build our own buildings and stuff like that. But this is really nice of Richard to do this for us um, in the meantime. So get that guy parked there. And we honestly can park this over, over here. So yeah, every day I'll still take $75 out of our account. We'll pay bi-monthly to Richard um, just to make sure I can keep track of it all. But uh, yeah, very nice of Richard to let us have this. But look at that. Fantastic. Our little our little beat up pickup truck can fit inside of a little, a little shed here. So that is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And eventually we can get a log back for this if we want to do some logging and stuff like that. Um, honestly, I think our first uh, order of business is going to be to get enough money to buy a small logging plot um and then i think after that we need to uh get a couple pieces of equipment maybe lease some equipment and do some logging um we probably will end up leasing equipment to start um occasionally the shop does have sales so we can occasionally check in here they do have a couple of listings for used equipment that they have turned into them that they're trying to clear out and get sold off but for now think... welcome back everyone to silver run forest episode 12 with me farmer cop um, so remember last episode, we have a new home right here owned by Richard, the guy we're renting uh, from here who has this whole, excuse me, this whole big shop area and set up like that. Um, since you last saw me, it was still morning, but it has since, well, it's since snowed. So uh, first order of business is going to be uh, to try to get up to the top of the uh, iron mine to uh, hopefully haul. Does this have a very dark insight? Yeah, it's not as dark in here, so this isn't as bad, but it still is not probably great for recording. Is that door open? get that shut it's cold out there uh but yeah so anyhow very thankful for uh richard um uh, letting us work here at his shop he said he is gonna bring over some uh snow equipment and he wants us to clear the snow out because he wants to actually start using his shop so um we will be doing that for richard i don't know how, how much he's gonna pay us to do that but uh we'll see but for now we're gonna try to get up to well the top of the mountain well not the top of the mountain i guess we you know you know what we're trying to do we're trying to get up to um Haul another load of iron so we can make a little bit of money that way. I don't know how much forestry we're going to get to today. Now, obviously, this episode will do some forestry before the end of it, I'm sure. But uh, today's main goal today probably is going to be to clear some snow out for Richard. And then, oh, gosh, this truck is just... It does kill me going up hills. It's the worst. But regardless of that, um, I'm going to get us up to the mountain, and then I'll see you guys there. But, uh, yeah, so 
again, we're going to haul some iron and then we're going to clear some snow, do some forestry, and that'll probably be what we get done this episode, but we'll kind of see. So I'll see you guys here at the top of the mountain. All right, we are pulling up. So we're going to have to get our uh, our conveyor belt set up here in a second so we can probably pull a little ways away from it, give it some time, but there's definitely, hopefully, enough metal here to uh, get us set to go for a load. Let's turn this baby on. we go there we go let's get that right about there wherever it's going to put it into the truck maybe a little bit further out there we go oh wow i grabbed a lot really quick that was kind of strange i'm assuming there's more there than what we're seeing it's kind of a strange uh that was kind of a strange happening we'll just kind of have to see what this does in terms of filling it up still going so I, I don't know if it just magically picked it all up but that was kind of a weird glitch that we just saw there so uh, we may have to pull the uh belts away from the uh iron in the future to make sure it doesn't have those issues but um yeah full load here should be three thousand dollars extra in our bank account which i know isn't a lot but that's still helping pay off the truck if we do this once a month which we should be able to keep doing um and if we can't get a full load we'll prorate it for whatever it is that's just how it works for us so it'll be fine so I'm not too worried about it, but it's still picking up a lot. So I think there's more here than it thinks is here, if that makes any sense. But uh, I don't know. It's very strange. Oop, I don't want to get in there. I want to get in the truck. Already at 11, 12,000. But regardless of that, I just want to bring you back in and kind of show you what we had going on up here. So I'll get this taken care of and I'll probably bring you guys back in, honestly, um, when it's time for us to hopefully do some snow removal for Richard. So um, he does say that he has the uh, truck down there for us right now. Um, a little plow truck or a little plow setup I, I don't know exactly what he's got going on but i will be able to go check that out and hopefully use that and get that taken care of for him um but yeah so and he does say he's going to try to buy some new equipment at some point i'm hoping we get to use it instead of the equipment that he has now because that would probably speed up our uh forestry a little bit if we had a little bit better system or a little bit better setup but i don't know it's kind of kind of up to him if he lets us use it or not uh he may charge us a greater premium if he gives us better equipment i'm not sure so we'll kind of have to play it by ear but anyhow i'll see you guys here in just a bit all right we are pulling back up to the shop it looks like there is a beautiful looking little plow truck there um i think we don't want to park inside there yet we want to probably clear some snow out first so let's go ahead and just park this off to the side turn that baby off and get in this plow truck and get this snow cleared away for richard so we get hopefully paid at least a little bit um i don't know where we're gonna put all this snow to be honest with you guys um lower that oh boy okay so we'll see how this goes so far so good i guess we're falling snow uh oh boy things a little touchy Maybe like a concrete slab there yep i knew that was gonna happen oh won't let me plow off of that that's interesting it's okay we'll clear everything we can okay oh wow yeah this might be more difficult than i had imagined we're just destroying his new shop um but we're gonna make it happen you know because that's how we do it at least unlike real life this doesn't drag snow backwards always that would have been bad what we just did i think the problem is this thing has a lot of speed to it i gotta be a little careful here there you go okay perfect i think if we just push this out of the way here interesting we can't plow it off of that uh, cement slab there that the power washer's on but that's okay it might just it might just be because it's a texture or something on there instead of like an actual i don't know i don't know i don't even what i'm talking about so just ignore me everything's fine um i do want to kick some of this over i think a little bit more though yeah let's get that okay I know I'm not doing this probably the most efficiently. I've always I've always had a dream of like uh, it'd be um, I think I would enjoy plowing snow in real life for briefly, not long term. I know it's a stressful job for those of you that do it, but uh, I think I would enjoy the satisfaction of clearing the snow away because there's something just there's something just satisfying about getting all the snow cleared away. Can we do a little in cab with this? This might be a terrible idea. Yeah, I can't see anything behind me. This is absolutely awful. And this is where I would have issues in real life, too, probably. This is probably not the best truck setup either for plowing snow. 
We can just push some of this over off the... So that's kind of interesting. It goes through the fence there. But we can probably just push some of this out of the way there. That probably makes a little bit more sense than doing what we're doing. I don't want to take the fence out, though. And honestly, forward... Let's go ahead and just lower that cruise control speed way down. That might help us out a little bit. That might be too much still. Yeah, that's far too fast, I think. But at least that's a manageable speed. I think if we lower it down to like maybe 12, I think 12 would be more sustainable for us. Oh, we can put on our snazzy flashers. I like that. Yep, 12 seems to be much more sustainable. And it's still getting everything, which is nice. And this plow actually works really good. This is uh, the TLX uh, 2020 by ADT Studio, in case you guys were uh, wondering. ADT Studio does some amazing mods, and this one is no exception to that rule. Gonna turn a little bit into it there. Beautiful. Worst case scenario, if this mountain gets a little too high, we can... Uh, we don't necessarily have to do this the way we're doing it. But this seems to be working pretty well. I think just uh, maybe one more pass on this side and we'll probably be good to go. Here we go. And perfect. That looks way better. That actually looks really good. Now the problem is the stuff in front of the shop we're going to want to clear the other way. We want these doors to be nice and clear. This I'm going to do nice and gently by hand, hopefully, most of it. Slow acceleration here. I probably can just stop there because that pole's there, and I think that'll be okay. Back out of there nice and easy. Oop, well, we're going to back right to that pole. Okay, we'll do just a run up this way real quick. Now, I don't want too big of a mound in the middle right there, so I will finish this row out here just getting this stuff scooched over and then I think we need to try to work around this pole here get up nice and close to the shop as close as possible without hopefully hitting it too hard thankfully there's no actual damage in this game always that would be really bad I think if we just push that over there that would be great now our area is the least of our concern because that's just where we live and we can deal with the snow if we need to Richard's area where he has to work is our primary goal because, well, that's our employer. So we need to get that taken care of as best as possible. And we are doing really good. So far, so good, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with actually how this is going. I didn't think this would go this smooth. I do need to get a thumbnail shot of us doing this because I think this will probably be my thumbnail for this episode. Let's get us like maybe halfway. Maybe like right there. And let's go ahead and just... In case you're wondering how I do thumbnails, it's very straightforward, honestly, but I know I've shown this off a couple times, but I'll just do maybe like right there. Like, yeah, that's a good that's a good thumbnail shot right there. You guys have probably seen it since, well, you saw it to get to this episode, but regardless of that, there we go. Hopefully it's loading. Okay. And did I get it? Yes, I did. A beautiful thumbnail shot right there. We'll go ahead and uh, save that as Silver Run Forest 12. So there we go, since episode 12. And then I will pop out of these various modes. We get back in and we will continue. So far, so good. It's actually doing a really good job at moving this much snow, because that's a lot of snow in front of it. Actually a little surprised about that. But this is going... This is going... Honestly, a lot better than I would have expected. This is probably my best uh, snow clearing job I've done so far in FS22. So that's saying something. Well, actually, honestly, it's not. I've done some terrible jobs. So <laughs> this is definitely probably my best one yet. And again, I don't anticipate Richard will pay us a lot to do this. He provided the equipment after all. And well, he's done us a favor by allowing us to uh, live with them. But uh, regardless of that, I'm still thankful for that. Uh, oh, and he also did ask if I could move all the the skid steer stuff into one of the one of the shops. He said he didn't care which one. He just wanted it to 
be put inside since he does own that skid steer. And then um, I'll, I'll call him again. I know he has some other equipment up and out and about in different places. He might want help uh, moving it down here or that's something he's working on. I don't know what he does every day necessarily, but uh, he gives us a lot of tasks and I'm okay with that. Um, I do know he has other forestry operations and stuff like that and he does do forestry regularly, but uh, again, we're just a con one of the many contract workers probably that he has that does forestry work for him. Um, again, you guys have seen his bank account. He's got $7 million in there. So I know he's done a lot of forestry, but uh, regardless of that, I believe he has more operations than just here on Silver Run Forest, but I think this is his main operation. Did he get in my drift? All right, but I would like him to buy some new equipment and let us use it. That would be fantastic. Um, that would be honestly amazing. But I also don't want to get too spoiled because if we are using nice equipment, then we eventually buy cheap equipment because we're not going to be able to afford the nicest of the nice right off the bat. That might be kind of a bummer. Oh, and I should check. Nothing new on sales, probably. No, nothing. I don't know why I even checked, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but maybe because I'm like a sales buying addict. And we did get paid. You should notice our money did go up by three grand um, because we did get paid for making that uh, delivery that we're supposed to make of the iron. I don't know how long this snow will stay here. I mean, we're just in the beginning. Of, honestly, we're in the beginning of, uh, of winter time here. So we still have January and February to go. And the second half of December for that matter. So we still have quite a bit of time left in winter time. So there's a good chance we'll be doing this again if it keeps piling up. But hopefully we can keep all of Richard's operations underway for him. If at all possible since well, that's what we should be doing for him. Let's see if we can let's see if we can do some in cab. I think we can do a little bit in here. I think if we just drive straight back, we should be able to see when we need to get over. Oh, will we just crash into the fence? So that's one way to... Oh, no, 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 no. Easy does it. Make sure we get all of it. Actually, we did do a pretty good job there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I have been trying to do more in-cab, and I know I haven't done as much in-cab as I said I would probably do for this series. I'm just so used to playing uh, without doing uh, in-cab stuff, so I do apologize about that, but uh, you need to get better about doing more of it. I just hit the fence again, of course. We honestly probably should change courses here. We do want to probably clear out to that... Uh, well, that fuel area, we want that to be clear for Richard to be able to use. Let's get that guy. That's definitely something we don't want to hit. We can avoid it. Let's do another push here. Get this last little bit push out of the way there. And then I think we we can drive over the top of this without hopefully having too many issues. Flip the plow up a little bit there. I didn't want to push too much of it, but now, of course, I'm making a, a huge mess now. Uh, see if I can. There we go. And then drop that back down. That pushed out of the way of the fuel pump. We'll do another one just to get all that extra stuff in there that we're kind of missing. Oop, don't hit the fuel pump. So our one goal here is to not hit that fuel pump. And I, it is a little bit weird in there. I think it's not letting us get... Quite, well, actually, it's a little bit lower. That's why it's not letting us get it. Do that. We might be able to get a little bit more. There we go. That was perfect. All right. Get that pushed out of there a little bit more. Sorry, you guys are probably bored of me moving snow. Um, well, yeah, you guys are probably bored of me moving snow. I've been doing this for a little bit. So I will continue. I will finish up this. Um, I'll give Richard a call, see what else he wants us to do today. I'm, and honestly, we're fine with doing any forestry today because I had a lady that's already in the day. It's already one o'clock. So uh, hopefully tomorrow in game, we'll get some of that done, but maybe we'll get some stuff moved down here for Richard. So I'll see you guys later on. All right. So we got everything moved in except for, I need to move this stupid trailer in over there. So I should just grab the truck real quick. I'll grab the snow plot truck. It should have a hitch. Yeah. That should be fine. We moved the bobcat in here, moved our stone crusher in here, and then we moved this all the way down from the mountain. This took forever to get down. Uh, Richard was very kind. He paid us $2,000 for our work today. 
um, given we're going to move that trailer real quick. Uh, we got all the snow cleared, including over there, and everything looks, honestly, it, looked, it came out really good. Um, it is a little late to be doing probably any forestry. It's actually not late, really, per se. It's just very dark outside. So I think we are going to, oh, we're going to hold off. We're first going to try to get this trailer hooked up. But I think we're going to hold off on doing any forestry until, there we go, we had it. We're going to hold off on doing any forestry until um, tomorrow in game because of just how dark it is. And then we're going to try to get, I mean, it'll be a late start, honestly, tomorrow as well, because we'll need light to, to work. So I don't like doing... It's, it's honestly, I'm, I'm not a big fan of doing all the work at night. So now let's get that folded up, though. Did that folded up? Yep, it did. Okay, perfect. Um, let's go get this parked. I think we'll just... Richard said he didn't have any issues with this being outside. So I think we'll just park it over here. If he doesn't like it, we can always move it later. But uh, just to get it at least in the shop yard here. Of course, I'm throwing snow everywhere now. But uh, yeah, we'll park it just... Uh... There's no rear lights. That I should have known. Okay, let's see if we can oh boy easy does it easy does it yeah like that that should work just fine um we'll get this parked up and then yeah tomorrow we'll get a jump on doing some forestry hopefully uh winter time kind of sucks because it gets well for one it's snow that we have to compete with and for two um well let's get all this closed down uh but yeah not only we have to compete with snow we get very short working days so it's kind of a Kind of a bummer. Um, and Richard said he does know some of the farmers in the area as well. So he said he should be able to hook us up with a couple of jobs uh, with them, hopefully. But I think for now, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Um, just while you guys are in here, we're going to switch back over to our account. Actually, I need to do that. Let's join that farm. You can see we went up again by two grand. Um, we're going to take out our $75 for our night sleep in here. Um, paying rent. Going here. Maybe if I can get in there. Um, and yeah. I will go ahead and get a, uh, a good night's rest, uh, cook up some food, relax a little bit. Honestly, we have plenty of time. I need to go to bed yet. So I'll probably stay up, have a you know nice relaxing time, maybe play a little bit of a uh, farming simulator on my computer here in the house. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, well, it is the morning. Just finished watching some TV and some breakfast. Slept in a little bit, stayed up late last night playing farm sim, of course. Um, oh my goodness, and we have another set of snow on the ground. Oh, this is the worst. I didn't even know this was going to be the case. Well, um, I we probably should get it cleared out, probably. Uh, I'm assuming that's what uh, Richard's going to want to do. I'll just get it cleared out for him. That's just the right thing to do, so. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's get this opened up. This guy fired up. I can't believe I'm doing this again, but, you know, that's okay. Richard's been good to us, so... Let's get to the right thing there. All right, and we can just probably just honestly, ooh, what am I getting stuck on? Oh, the, the, the chop, of course. That checks out. Just, uh, goodness, that just like, it like hooks me around there. The, wow, I don't know why I'm getting, kind of forced me into that wall. I wasn't even trying to steer into it. Oh goodness, now we're stuck in a wall. Well, this is going well so far, I would say. Let's see if super strength can save us, because I don't know how in the world we got in this predicament. I can, thank goodness. Thank goodness super strength was there to save the day. Uh, anyhow, without hopefully getting stuck on the wall again, I'm just going to plow this out. Oh boy. Plow this out to here. And then I am going to go ahead and get this done. You guys don't need to watch me do this, because you guys have already probably seen this too much. So... On that note, I am going to get this all plowed or renoed and get it cleared up. And I will see you guys when we can hopefully do some forestry. Because I, I honestly I was not planning to do this, but uh, I'm hoping Richard will just pay us a thousand bucks. Uh, or at least half of what he paid us yesterday or some, just some amount of money uh, to get this cleared out. So I'll get this done and I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, so it is cleared out. We're going to take our truck up and see if we can't do some forestry. Um... I don't know how this is going to go. Oh, we are almost out of fuel as well, so we're going to need to get that at some point. I know there's a fuel tank there, but it's Richard's fuel. We're not going to use that for our personal rig. Um, let's go ahead and head up to our uh, site. Thankfully, it's literally just right up around the corner, so it's not too far, which is kind of nice, quite honestly. Um, I'm thankful for that, at least. Um, let's see if we can... So it's not that one. It should be the next turn off. Next dirt road turn off up here. 
Yeah, right here should be where we're going. Sure doesn't have a lot of snow on it, which is actually pretty nice. These roads in the winter time would be absolutely treacherous in real life, but this is we're doing pretty good right now. And there's all of our equipment. Again, Richard hasn't bought any new equipment yet. He said he's going to wait till probably springtime. Um, or maybe he'll do it later this winter. We'll just kind of have to see. But he said he's not quite ready to do it yet. Um, there we go. Turn that off. Um, I don't know how this is honestly going to go. Let's get in here. This thing does have some pretty beefy... I don't have my steering wheel right now in front of me. This thing does have some pretty beefy wheels. I definitely don't want to be pulling things up the uh, hill. Uh... That tree right there, we could actually probably take down pretty easily. Let's go get that one real quick. Turn this baby on. I think we could grab this one real quick right down here. Big one, that is, not that little guy. I didn't think it would let us grab that downy service berry. I think that's what that one is there. There we go. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be driving uphill um with this thing over some snow oh we don't want to tip it either easy does it easy does it let it settle gotta be real careful here so far honestly not the worst uh we probably should back our truck in actually um that will probably work a little bit better with loading it so i'll probably have to do that here in a second um we should have brought the plow truck maybe up here to clear this off but that actually, so far, this has gone a little bit better than I thought it would. Or, yeah, this has just gone better than I thought it would. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to jinx us too bad here. Uh, let's see if we can't grab another tree. I do need to wrap up the episode here, though, soon. Because we are pretty much pushing up against our time. We're probably a little over the 20-minute mark right now. So it's usually right where I try to wrap it up. Let's see if we can't get one of these guys up here on, on the hill. Oh, gosh. This thing needs to get repaired. I need to take this somewhere and get it repaired. So again, I don't know if Richard wants to spend any money repairing it, if he's going to sell it, so. I think this tree is going to be too big for us. Oop. Maybe not, though. We'll see. Yep, that tree is too big for us, so let's go up here, see if we can't grab this guy. Now, these guys are pretty far up here. So we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit of a risk. Oh, never mind. We're not gonna take a risk. This is already about to tip over with one tree. Oh no! Nope, don't go that way. Oh, I shot it back too fast. Oh, please don't tip. There we go. We hit that tree. That tree helped us out quite a bit. Uh, let's try to drive straight down the hill. I think that'll probably go a little smoother for us, maybe. I don't want to hit too many of these little rocks and stuff either. I might ask Richard if I can take his uh, bobcat up here and take care of some of this. All right. Dump this off right here. Easy does it. Boom. So far, this has gone uh, far better than I thought it would. Welcome back, everyone. Farmer Cop here. This is episode 12 of Silver Run Forest. Uh, I remember last episode, we were doing a lot of snow clearing and various things, but uh, yeah, we have... Uh, there's, yeah, I was about to say, weird that I was highlighting that hand icon, but I definitely can't let that. Uh, but yeah, so what are we going to do this episode? Well, hopefully we're going to make some more money. Uh, I think that'll be our plan, so... Um, that's the idea. Um, I'm going to try to convince Richard to get ourselves a different, uh, tree harvester, if at all possible. I think he's on board with that. It's going to be a little difficult to do this, uh, probably in the snow, but we're going to make it work as best we can, I think. So we'll kind of see how that goes, but we don't want to just stop. Richard doesn't really like to do a lot of work out here in the weather time, but, uh, or when the weather's bad, I should say. Not the weather time, that doesn't make any sense. The winter time, that makes more sense. But he doesn't like to do anything when the weather's bad, and that's fair enough doesn't really have to so um yeah we're gonna keep uh doing what we can do to, to get things done um and i think we'll cut these what about right here maybe be about right oh how long are those 12.2 i've heard 12.2 is not ideal i've heard that you want to be just under that like right about the 12 mark 
11, so that would be good. So this one would be a touch big. I, I've heard there's a, more of a penalty if it's a little over, so we're going to try to make it a little less, even though that cuts a little bit off of that. So what's that one? 11.9, that's perfect. We'll take this guy out of there. We'll put it over here in a little burn pile. Um, There we go. And then what do we got at the end here? This guy's 16.9, which isn't great either. Can I lift that? Yeah, there's no way. Um, Let's just cut this end off. Where does that put us? 10.4, that'll do it. Right about there. What is that one at? 10.2. And these can go just... Well, that was a longer piece than I thought. That's okay. It was hidden under the snow from me. That's okay. They can still go in the burn pile. They're not going to be worth a lot. Um, so yeah, we'll just throw those over here. There we go. A few 12 meter lengths. That'll be good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to Richard about getting a new uh, tree harvester. I think he's interested in it. I told him that we could sell this guy off. Um, looking at pricing here, we could... This is our stuff. This isn't going to work. But if we go over to... Richard's account here real quick so we can actually take a look at things there we go it's kind of moved, jump me out of there but if we look at forestry equipment there it is oh no where's it at give me oh forestry machines there we go it's weird that that was the one that was showing up not this one yeah so we could get over a hundred thousand dollars for this so I think Richard might be on board with selling I mean Richard as you can see has plenty of money in the bank so we'll see what he wants to do but I'm going to try to convince him into that uh and hopefully we can get some of this snow out of here but um, I'm probably not going to do a lot, honestly, until the weather gets a little nicer, because this is going to be just a pain to kind of work up here in the snow. But uh, yeah, regardless of that, I will bring you guys back in. Honestly, it might it might be a little bit. So I'll see you guys when I see you guys. But we're going to try to hopefully get through some of this winter time and then move on from there. All right, everyone, it is January. At least it's not snowy out. I mean, there's snow everywhere, but it's not snowing actively, I guess. But um, a couple new upgrades. I talked Richard into spending some money. I also, first off, made our January payment for our truck and paid $75 to Richard for half of our month's rent. And we have an upgrade for this here, a new log fork, which will hopefully work a little bit better. This is part of the CSC pack, in case you're wondering. And Richard allowed us to get this guy right here. Obviously, it's Richard's, and he was the one that bought it and all that. But at the same time, we get to use it, which is great. Um, and before you guys say, oh, we're cheating or whatever, Richard has a lot of money. He's got a good forestry outfit, and this is not our piece of equipment. And though he did have to spend, I mean, if you look at the store, let's, let's just take a look here. The reason this is the one, we talked about this one being the one to go to. We wanted to get something, um, at least Richard at least wanted to get something, I should say, uh, bigger than this. I encourage you to get something bigger than this. That's the best deal. Then we're kind of over the 400,000 mark, and these guys aren't bad. 71 centimeters width for max log, 64 centimeters, so... That one's a little bit better, I think, in, in that sense. 70, a little bit lower. But then this guy, not too much more than these guys. And it goes all the way up to 80. So we decided that was probably a good mid-range. Always, you got the Hannibal up here, which is very pricey. And obviously, that can cut anything down. Uh, but yeah, so we decided that was probably the best. And Richard agreed that was probably the best to, to get that guy if we're going to actually make the upgrade to make it right. So we want the good upgrade right there. And I think that this will be a good choice. But Richard was still on the fence about it. He still was nervous to spend that much money. And that's reasonable. Richard's a good businessman. He makes a lot of money and he doesn't, obviously he uses older equipment. We did sell the John Deere off as well. I should note that as well. He said he couldn't, he couldn't justify keeping uh, two forestry harvesters down in this operation specifically. So we had to let the other one go, which is fine. That helped pay for the other one. So we ended up only being down like, you know, 350,000 ish or a little bit less than that. But anyhow, so we have this guy now. We did make an agreement with Richard. I agreed with Richard that I would work with him this whole year doing forestry stuff and stuff around his place so yes we are still i need to get these guys out here to figure out how to use this guy um turn it on oh we gotta unfold it Ooh, how do i unfold this bad boy uh z oh z unfold it there we go interesting i haven't used one of these in a long time so this is not going to be great uh richard agreed to the same 60 40 cut by the way so we're still taking 60 he's taking 40 because we're using his equipment and stuff like that, but we are doing all the work. So let's turn it on. Okay. Oh, and what's that cut length? We got to change that. Let's do 12 is really kind of what we want. Let's see how this goes. Um, let's find a good tree. This thing, thankfully, is pretty powerful, so shouldn't have any issues traveling around on these hills and stuff like that. Should be able to grab this guy. Ooh, that's right. I forgot about this. The auto cut option. Um, we hold down the O. Just like that. 
Eventually will fall. There it goes. You can hold on to it. We're going to work our way down here. Hopefully get it somewhat in line with the truck for loading purposes. That's going to hit our truck if we keep going this route. This might be a little bit trickier than I thought. That's okay. I'm going to turn that help menu off again. Honestly, could use some light. Get it down here a little bit. Not going into the drink. Pull ourselves this way. Want to try to pull this guy back. Just right, hopefully. We can go around this rock here. Because we want it to be in line with kind of where the truck's at here. That still did not do great, but that's okay. That was definitely better. Okay. Right there should be good. X cuts it out 12 meters. Boom. Another 12 meters. And then lastly, that guy at the end there. So three per. Okay, that's not too bad. Loading's going to definitely be a little bit more difficult. That's for sure. Let's see if I can't grab another tree here. I'll do one more with you guys in, and then we'll probably try to get a... Well, then we'll try to load it, actually. That's, you probably want to see that chaos. Get it over there. Oh boy. Not that auto's not maybe doing as best as it could. There we go. Maybe. Okay. Let's pull you back. Wanna go out this way again. Try to get this angle at least a little bit more right. Goal is to make a big stack of them. That way, we can use our fuel loader a little bit more effectively. Let's see if we can't get this guy maybe knocked over a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's at least the right angle ish. Oh, there we go. Lift it up a little bit. See how that does. Maybe back up just a touch. Perfect. That was a shorter tree, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. Pull this guy forward for a second. And let's grab. And that was probably, honestly, that thing's probably the thumbnail. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if we can grab all these guys at once. This might be too much weight. That might be our only issue. I think this design of this fort does. Oh, that's doing that to the bottom ones. There we go. But I think this fort design will be a little bit better for us. Okay, we got most of them. Can't complain about that, honestly. Which, since that's probably a little bit much for this guy. Actually, this guy's doing a lot better at this than I thought it would. For that, uh, that size there. Okay. go okay it's definitely a little bit more tricky to get out yeah that one's a little bit more tricky to get out of there that's for sure i wonder if we can move that log by hand nope definitely too heavy okay well we tried um i'd love to straighten that one out and get it actually kind of on the truck a little bit Do that just a little bit more angled back. There we go. That's a little better. We got that side on at least. Might be able to... I don't think we're going to reach that side from here. Might have to go around to get that. It's okay if we just do this real quick. Thankfully those uh, wires don't have any... Oop, missed it. Wires don't have any collisions on them. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. Looks like we're not going to be able to resolve this. 
Oh, I maybe wanted to. Oh, there we go. Maybe. This thing's kind of a pain to get off of this uh, truck is the main issue. Oh, I think those fold down. Someone mentioned this to me. About this trailer. Okay. Oh, they do. There we go. So we could lower those down and make loading a little bit easier. Can't remember who mentioned that in the comments, but whoever you are, thank you. That definitely will make our life a little bit easier. In terms of a lot of things. Still not on there, and I hate it. Slight perfectionist when it comes to this sometimes. Other times I say just to heck with it, but this time, for whatever reason, I really want to get this guy on. Oop. Oh, there we go. There we go. That'll work for me. That's good enough. Okay. So this definitely does work better in terms of grabbing them. Now, again, we had a little bit of a debacle there with one piece, but I think now that we've lowered the tops of that down a bit, it'll be much more reasonable for us. But there we go. So I am going to go ahead and keep doing some forcey work. I'll bring you guys back in when it's time to either sell off a load of this or something else. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. Well, as disastrous as the last time we tried to haul logs was, I figured in the snow it would be that much more fun, so I figured I had to bring you guys back in, but it worked really well. I mean, as you can see, I did realize when I was done recording that our time was low. So I sped it back up to five times, but even then, in about an hour, I loaded this whole truck up. So if we can get two loads a day, that would be absolutely incredible. I'm going to go cab here. I don't have my wheel, so we'll see how this goes. Gotta make sure we don't roll it like we did last time. That would be no bueno. This is quite this is quite the road. Woo! Every time we get down here, I think we're gonna roll it. Okay, let's look at our let's pull up our map real quick. So we're right here. We need to get over to well. Where's the best place to sell wood? Actually, is a good question as well. Um old sawmill. Old sawmill still the best of the best. So that's what we're gonna sell it. Um 1089's not that different though. Where's the wood turner at? We might just go sell it in town. Alright, let's go, let's go try to make it there. So if we just come out here, because that will be that's a lot closer than trying to drive all the way up to the old sawmill. Honestly, time-wise, it's probably worth it to do. So where's the car coming? Let's let them get by. We're gonna go. Okay. No rolling it this time. No rolling the logs. Once we get down to the main road, we should be fine. I should get, use some brakes coming down here. Be a rough ride for sure. Stop sign. Make sure we're good to go. There we go. Okay, so far so good. We haven't crashed yet. I'm hoping this will be our best load yet. I can't remember what we made the last couple loads, but it wasn't great. I mean, it wasn't it just wasn't ideal. So um, hopefully we will do just fine on this load. All goes to plan. I'm hoping maybe 10 grand. That'd be great. Yeah, I'm nervous. I can't remember what we got the last couple loads. I cannot remember, but this should be a good load. I think we got I mean, regardless of that road, it's a good load or not. We got this load done fast so if we can do two loads a day which i think is feasible with the new piece of equipment we got from richard and i'm excited to tell him that too because he was worried it wasn't really going to speed up our efficiency that much and we wanted to go just straight look at the map here yeah this will, this will take us into town so yeah he was wor <gasps> oh, i almost rolled it there that was so close oh goodness 55 may have been a bit quick, but I do want to make it there today. We got more more stuff to do. Oh, don't go in front of me. Oh, jeez, Louise. At least he accelerated pretty quick. We didn't really have to. I didn't have to slam on the brakes, which is kind of surprising. I have to slam into the rear end of him though, if I'm not careful. All right, and then the wood turner was just over here, so we just need to take a left and then a right and then head down down the way. Is it the second one? Yeah, second one. Furthest production down that way. That guy just blew that stop sign. Good lord. There we go. This corner a little wider. 
You don't have a lot of forestry trucks coming into town like this, I don't think. Even if it is a forestry town. Do a lot of lumber in this area. All right. That second production there. The wood turner. All right, we're going to have to back it in there. But I think... I think we can make this happen. Actually, it's def there's definitely worse areas to have to back something into. This honestly is not that bad at all. Goodness, we're gonna hit that person up. They're not gonna get out of the way. Hit your head on that log. Good gravy. Ooh, we don't want to wreck anything. I tell you, the, the cars in this town, they have never seen a truck before, I feel like. At times. Okay. And fasten those tension straps. Let's get ready. I'm going to get ready to write down the numbers for what we get. Woo! 31! 31013. And we get to keep... Oh, I put it in the wrong bank account, didn't I? Well, we're going to take that out of our bank account. 31013. 31, because I forgot to switch over to Richard's account. That's okay. Um, he'll be fine. Um, 31013 times 0. 0.6, which is our cut. So we get to keep 18607.8. So 18607, we'll take it. 18607. Beautiful. Okay. And that's what we get, 60%, right? That's what we've been getting? 6% or we've been only taking 40%. I think maybe we've only been 40%. I gotta look this up. I apologize if I did it wrong. I'm gonna go look up another episode and I'll get it figured out real quick. I was completely wrong. We get 40% and I'm gonna write that down so I know. We got a 40% cut. So I need to... Oh, gosh. Oh, so what did I just take? 18607. I need to remove that. 18607. And then I need to add the correct amount, which is going to be 31013 times 0. 0.4. So 12405, which is still really good. So if we can make $24,000 a day, that would put us in really good shape. I think we can... We probably should just loop around. There we go. But yeah, so we, I think we can make this work. I think we make this work. Um, Richard, I think we'll be very happy with those results. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good for us. Now we are pushing up on the episode length here. Um, in terms of that, I know I'm gonna put out a couple of kind of shorter episodes. The reason for that is I'm getting ready to go on a two week trip for work and I'm trying to pre-record stuff. And I was gonna do like a whole separate, like little mini series. I still might do that. I'm not sure at this point. But as of right now, I just want to make sure that there is content that's coming out on the channel, at least somewhat regularly, at least every other day, hopefully. Uh, so what I am going to do is I am going to try to do maybe a little bit of shorter episodes um, and then try to get just some more episodes done, just so there's more stuff regularly. So over the set of maybe having two episodes for the week, you'll have three, even though I, I covered this. Oh, good Lord, that car. Even though I covered the, maybe the same amount of material, we go through the same progress. At, you know, if you know what I mean. I did this a while back with Willamina Forest when I was going out of town for something. Um, and I just kind of did some, I did it actually more like live stream, live stream, but like I recorded it. So I just didn't have any gaps or anything like that. I might do something somewhere like with that on here, but um, I might do another, maybe a forestry time lapse. I don't know. We can do all sorts of things, but uh, the good news is, can we make this corner without rolling? We sure can. As soon as we get those logs on there, we're screwed. But without logs, that was really dangerous of me to just risk that, but that's fine. We did it. It's over now. I'm going to pass this guy. I've had enough of them. <sighs> that about ran us off the road. All right. I think we can make it there we go just that's some reckless driving right there just flat out i just call myself out on that one but uh yeah so i think we're welcome everyone this is episode 13 of silver run forest with me farmer cop i know i talked we, we haven't really made any progress since last episode uh in the last episode we didn't make a lot of progress i felt like we still made a little bit of money and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a time lapse right off the bat uh starting off here i think we're just gonna do a forestry time lapse and try to load this truck up as fast as possible you guys will see all my different debacles and everything like that so I'm sure it's going to be just great. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to get this truck loaded as fast as possible. I'm hoping we can get it done today. I'm sure we will be able to. It's just before noon now. And then after that, I would like to, if we still have time in the day, haul a load of iron down the hill. I think that'll be worthwhile for us. That helps pay off our truck. Um, but yeah, so that's our two plans for today. Not necessarily the episode, but that's just for today to start. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this truck all the way loaded up. And then we're also going to drive it to wherever we're going to sell it, which... Um, looking at things is probably still going to be the wood turner, right? Old sawmill, uh, wood turners. Yeah, we'll probably still take it to the uh, wood turner, depending on what their price is later on, because it's just it's just pretty close. So, um, yeah, 
I'm going to keep working and getting that stuff done, and I'll see you guys in a bit. You guys are going to see it all happen in time lapse. So another load done and actually before I stop off here to make sure this is still good. Oh my goodness. It went up. That's even better. Okay. Yep. Still a good place to sell on uh, this load. I mean, the, you saw we had a lot of issues. I don't know what it, yeah, we just had a lot of issues, but it's fine. We made it here. Finally, let's back up before that guy walks behind our truck. There we go. Okay. Oh, let's get in there and fasten all that. Okay. Uh, oh, let's switch over to the correct account this time, actually. I forgot to do this last. What am I doing? I'm in the wrong menu here. Okay. 
25 350 i knew it wasn't gonna be quite as good as it was last time but that's okay uh, let's hop over to us so 25 350 times 0.4 for our cut so 10,140 so we will take it obviously and there we go and i think our next step today will be to well first drive this back up over to the site and then i do want to try actually we'll probably just stop at richard's shop with this guy and what i do want to try to do is try to get a load of iron hauled away so i think that'll be our next step is to get a load of iron hauled away but we are doing good today we are making money richard i called him earlier as well he's happy we're getting at least two loads done a day pretty much and we probably still have time for other stuff like well right we do right now so i told richard that i would try it unless he had other jobs that was specific to him before i did any of our own stuff i would get uh two loads of logs done for him every day if i could um as much as possible that way take care of that and obviously the more we haul the more we make so it's obviously beneficial for us to haul as much as possible but we are sitting pretty good in the bank with fifty-seven thousand dollars. so um, pretty soon, I think we can uh, maybe buy a plot of land and start, uh, I don't know, maybe buying some forestry equipment here. So that would be nice if we can get to that point. I'm hoping there's a couple of contracts uh, on some of these fields uh, here soon in the springtime. Um, that way we can get maybe some of that done. Actually, we could probably check that right now. Let's just let's get up over to the shop. We'll check the contracts and see how they're looking. Because uh, it'd be nice to get some actual farming done. I don't know if we'll do any farming or not on here. To be honest with you guys, I normally do a series where I will start off with pretty much nothing, kind of like No Man's Land, but it's a forestry map, and our goal is to build a farm on a forestry map. I do want to kind of do that again, but I don't know. We'll just kind of see how time permits, because this is our forestry series right here. So um, I would like to get a nice, big, successful, successful, if I could talk, uh, forestry company up and running, if I at all possible. Uh, but we'll just kind of have to see. I'm going to just pull this into here for now, and then... Uh, We'll shut that off, and then we'll take our truck up and hopefully get some of that done. But um, let's go ahead and check out the contracts that are available right now. Yeah, so nothing farming related, which made sense to me. Uh, transfer to sawmill. Be careful not to damage them, as any damage will be detected detected from your pay. How do you damage a tree? I'm, I've never tried one of the uh, transporting uh, ones, but those are pretty good. Actually, honestly, those are really good payouts. I'm just worried that's going to take us all day to do one of those, and that may not be really worth it for us. Um, the deadwood ones aren't too bad. We just have to cut down the deadwood trees. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm not going to worry about it. We're just going to keep uh, worrying about working for Richard. So um, we'll take this up to the mine. I'll get it up there, and then I will see you guys once we're up there, and we'll continue on our way. All right. I just dropped off another load of iron, which was great for us, because we're going to have our $3,000 deposit in our account here shortly, because I haven't done it yet. Um, let's go ahead and I get a straight away here. I can probably do it here real quick. Boom. Three grand. Beautiful. Get back in our lane. So there we go. We're up to sixty thousand dollars. That is incredible. Um, we might want to take a look at some land that we may want to buy here soon. I think though we are going to call it. It is starting to get dark. I think we are probably going to call it for the day, and then we're going to try to get an early start, maybe eight a.m. tomorrow. Head up and uh, do some forestry stuff. So that's kind of the plan for now. Uh, but once we get back to the house here, let's go ahead and see if we can't. Uh, Take a look at some land here because i think we should start getting close to maybe buying our own land and thinking about well once we get the land then we can start thinking about getting some porsche equipment i think we can buy a log back for this guy so we have something that can transport our logs places that would mean we probably honestly just need a something to process the logs or just a wheel loader to start to be honest if we had a wheel loader we could start doing our own forestry stuff i think right away oh of course it's snowing go figure go figure Park this guy right here be fine without smacking into the house. Okay, so let's go. Let's go inside. Let's get out of the snow. The snow's ridiculous. Get out of this. Close that. Put some coffee on. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's take a look online here. Let's go ahead and hop on and take a look at what we have more land for sale. So, um. We may be able to convince them to sell us this here. We'll have to see. Um, I've heard that they don't really want that land. That's where we got the old abandoned truck was up there. So we may be able to convince them to sell that. Um, this would be great if we wanted to do some factory work, but we're really not ready for that. I don't really want any of the fields around here because um, we don't want to do any of that sort of work yet. This one's right by the shop. It's a little expensive, though. So I think we're probably better off with maybe one of these guys. Now, that one's 
uh, 38% above right now. So you need to start looking out for deals at 67% above. That means that one's really cheap normally. 27% above. Um, that one's a little bit down, 23,000. Um, the problem is getting, obviously we can get up into this. This would be probably easy, but I don't know how many trees are out there. So uh, we may have to take a look at that and see if that's actually worth it. But I think everything else is pretty, pretty big out past here. Um, 123, that one's probably got a lot of good trees in it though. Yeah, I'm thinking that that's probably gonna be our best starting area since it's a little bit cheaper. That'll get us a little bit more money to buy some more land. Um, I don't want to be headquartered here. I think, I think we want to be, I mean, this is the old sawmill up here. So I think maybe up in like this region would be kind of nice to do a lot of forestry up here. Uh, it's kind of right up against Richard's land through here. Richard owns all this. Um, and then Richard owns this chunk, which he bought recently. So uh, yeah, and this is just Richard's one operation. I mean, out in the, the wilderness, he's got some more operations running and shipping logs around. So we're not his only source of income, that's for sure. He does really good in terms of that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we could probably start down here. There's some small plots, I think, down here that we'll start with. And then I think then we maybe move up into some of these right here, like this one. Even at 15% 15, 15 off, it's 139000 So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but that one looks, I mean, it's hard to tell on a map like this. It's not like you can tell if it's, Usually if there's more roads curving around, usually the land is a little bit more unforgiving. So this land probably through here is probably pretty bad. Though, oh, it's 50% above though, okay. But uh, that's probably not bad and that's probably not terrible there. So um, yeah, I and mean, you can see there's lots of roads through here. I mean, know this is kind of a little bit more, has a lot of bit more crazy terrain and same through here. So uh, regardless of that, that's our plan, but I'm gonna go ahead and rest, maybe get a couple things done, but uh, don't anything crazy to do. I may have to plow snow in the morning as well for Richard, we'll kind of have to play it by ear, but uh, yeah, so I will see you guys uh, tomorrow in game. All right, so a little bit of time has gone by. Uh, Richard paid us a thousand bucks to take care of uh, plowing for him, and he actually went up to the old shop, and he is currently driving down the uh, little tractor with tracks that has the, uh, uh, oh gosh, the stump grinder on the back of it, because we're going to try to get rid of some of those trees that have kind of been in our way. So, um, yeah, some of these little downy service berries or whatever they are that are up and around that are kind of just a pain to deal with. This one's not going to be a pain to deal with. We're just going to cut this one down. But uh, yeah, some of these smaller trees we're really not going to make any money off of, and I'm just clearing them out of our way. So that's what I'm doing with some of these. Theoretically, in the forestry business, those would eventually be worth something, but in the, the for our purposes, they won't be worth anything ever because they're part of the map, so they don't grow or anything like that. So it would be a cool feature if they kind of did grow on the map. That'd be, that'd be interesting if you got in a map and they grew. There's one of those downy service berries right there. Go get them out of the way. So yeah, he's going to bring that up here. It's, he said it's going to take him a couple, a few hours to get over here, probably, because it's a very slow piece of equipment. But uh, that's okay. We'll make it work. Let's grab this guy. Just get this guy out of here. What I've been doing is I've been loading him kind of towards the... Oh, that was a mistake there. Get it up high enough so it's above the trailer. I've been leaving the, the things up high like that just because on the trailer, just because I think, well, we want to get as much, get as many logs as possible on there. But I've been driving in between these two at the back end, trying to get a little bit offset, as you guys might have noticed, because it allows me to just back off. Well, when I actually hit it appropriately, that time it didn't work, but typically it just allows me to back off just like that and leave that there. That didn't work as effectively, so we'll try this there. That's okay. With this guy. Yeah, we'll get rolling on that. Let's see if we can't straighten this guy out a little bit. There we go. And I think I actually probably should move my truck. It's been a little in the way a couple of times, so we might actually move that real quick. Get that out of our way. I'm hoping by the end of the day, I'm hoping we can still get two loads today. We don't have to haul iron today, so I think we should be good in terms of that. That's one of those wood statue things. I'm not going to grab that. That's a collectible there. Very expensive collectible. We don't need. There we go. Okay. Yeah, those that guy's a collectible right there. But uh, yeah, I don't know why I just noticed it now. But anyhow, um, I'm going to get back to working on some forestry stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys here later on, I think. All right. So the truck is full again, which is great. Um, we got our load done. Excuse me, our load done, and Richard was able to finally get this bad boy over to us. Which we're going to see if it actually does what we need it to do. If it'll ever, there we go, get going. 
I did encourage Richard to replace this tractor as well, but he says he really likes it, so, you know, we've got him to replace a lot of things, so I don't think he's quite to the point where he's gonna buy a whole new setup just for us, but that's okay. I'm hoping this works. Yes, there we go. Sorry, I forgot this thing won't pull it forward if you have it down. And won't drive if you have it on. Wish, I wish we had a better tractor, but that's okay. There we go. That's right, gotta turn it off. This is quite the process, but at least we're gonna be able to knock out some of these stupid trees that are in the way and some of the other garbage. There we go. Oh, we don't wanna climb on that. That was very risky. There we go. Now with that guy, there's a couple of stumps over here. Now obviously it'll be easier for us to find stumps and deal with them when they are not covered in snow mostly. So this is only really just us getting a few things while we're at it, but at the same time, Richard does probably expect us to get this done for him. I know we're not making really money doing this specifically, but this is kind of part of the job to be honest, so. Oh, oh boy. This thing, the engine dying is killer, is killer, absolute killer. I need it. we might just lease our own dadgum tractor at this rate with this thing. You can do it. Maybe I'll get, nope. Man alive, that is a, uh, that stump does not want us to get it, that's for sure. That's good, let's get some of these trees taken care of that we wanted to get rid of. We can. Yes, this thing, this thing is a piece of junk right here. Absolute piece of junk. <laughs> oh boy, oh goodness. At a minimum, I need some repairs. Richard needs to replace this piece of junk, that's for sure. I might call Richard. Oh boy. Is there anything on sale right now? No, Malibu's not gonna do it. How much are tractors cost? <laughs> how much, first off, how much horsepower does this thing require? Um, that's the first thing we need to look into here. Let's go to mulchers. This guy right here is the, that's the forestry one, right? Nope, grape and olive farming. Nope, these are not, these are not, we're just gonna enter forestry equipment. I knew that. I knew that, all right, so. It's this guy right here, right? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that goes in the, the whatchamacallit. See, so it's this guy, only 150 horsepower. That's not horrific. Um, yeah, definitely not horrific, but not great. I think this is what we're using right now. Yeah, no wonder we can't do anything with it. Doesn't have enough horsepower even for it. Now, the other question is how much does the Volvo BM have because that one I know that Richard has that tractor and if he could bring that tractor over here and get rid of this or keep it as a whatever he wants keepsake 140 that's got more horsepower so that would be better I bet you I could talk to Richard and get in that tractor over here for now anyhow I'll give him a call and hopefully we can do that but I think for now I think we're to wrap up this episode here um we've definitely had some struggles with this for sure but uh Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 14 of Silver Run Forest. Last episode, we were starting to knock out some of the little trees and stuff with this bad boy, but uh, yeah, that doesn't have enough horsepower. Richard did agree to bring the Bobo BM88 or whatever it is over here, so he's going to do that. Um, in the meantime, we're going to keep rocking and rolling with what we got. We need to move all these over to the scrap pile. That's where I've been throwing all the other extra junk. You need to have a good bonfire over here, I think, at some point. Um, let's get this guy here. I think that's all of them. Oh, no, there's one right there. There we go. Okay, that should be all of them. Uh, but yeah, so in the meantime, 
We're going to take this off and get this sold off here because I think this would be, obviously, we need to keep going with more forestry work. So uh, while we wait for the, the new tractor, um, we'll go ahead and get this sold off. Um, Richard is also bringing the, uh, what you call on the back of it up here. He said that just in case we needed it, um, he's going to bring it up here. So that was nice of him to at least offer us extra equipment. I don't think we'll need it. The uh, It's the pull or the winch type thing. Oh, easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it, Farmer Cop. There we go. I'm just going to go straight down here because this might be less hazardous for us. Okay. Now, where are we going to go to sell this is a big question. I think we're just going to go to the same place we've been going. Wood. We've been taking it to the wood turner, and that's still looking pretty good. Old Savo still a little bit better, but not by much. So I think we're going to head over to the wood turner again and see if they'll still take some more logs from us, and then we'll get our 40% cut from it, which will be great. Just head down there. Easy does it. Yeah, Richard said he's also going to take the Volvolin to get a little bit of repair work done on it first. Now, this isn't quite probably as full. I don't know why I turned that corner so sharp or so quick. Uh, but uh, this isn't probably quite as full as we normally get the trailer, but I think it's plenty full. We may also try to be a little bit sneaky and see if we can't get the uh, forest the, or the trees to go directly into the back of the truck as well. I think we can maybe do a little bit of trickeriness or trickery to get them to just, if we drop them in there, that might save us a little bit of time with loading. Obviously, if we don't have to use the wheel loader, it kind of cuts out the middleman a little bit, but uh, regardless of that. And then, oh, I guess, where's the, the new sawmill? Is that 1063? So worst case scenario, if the wall will go to the paper factory is too far away, never mind. So if they don't take it at the, uh, the uh, wood turner, we'll go to the, this sawmill, I think, because they're closer. Make sure we don't get a head-on collision here. Richard would probably not be happy if we got in a wreck with his truck. Yeah, I knew Richard wouldn't be probably into buying a new tractor, but I did explain the horsepower requirements were a little bit different. Um, and he said that that made sense. And that is an old tractor, but uh, yeah. So he pretty much doesn't have any equipment now up at the other the shop that he has up in the, up on over, oh, where we're at. Well, we started at that first shop that we were doing some work out of over in that area. So I think he's pretty much removed all of his equipment from over there. Um, he didn't really get a whole lot of... Why does this happen every time? We were not going that fast, I swear. Let's go ahead and... Uh, just rock us back over here real quick. Like nothing happened. Easy peasy. And then uh, we'll get rid of that. And then we're going to have to front that, uh, that tow bill, unfortunately. So we'll just call that good there. God, it's just the worst of $1,000. Oh, it's probably like 10% of what we're going to make off this load. Yeah, it's wild. But at least our money is still going up, and we're doing pretty good, and we're making good money off of the forestry. And it's still only January. We have this whole year to work for Richard. And then I think, honestly, I think our goal should be to try to have saved up enough to go into business on our own uh, by the end of this year. I think that's going to be our goal. So I think that's what we're going to try for. I'm just going to pull in. We'll see how backing out goes. We might actually be able to pull around the back side of this anyways. Mm, that might be pushing a little bit, but all right, switch accounts over to Richard's account. Okay. And then we'll sell this off. 31406. Okay. So 31406 times 0.4. So our cut's gonna be 12562. All right. Uh let's switch back over to our account and add in our 12562. There we go. Okay. And that is pretty reasonable, honestly. We are using his equipment, his land, his trees. We're just doing all the labor. So 40% cut for our labor is probably pretty generous, uh, considering. So I'm definitely not going to complain about about that happening. And we actually did make it pretty good. The good thing about this truck is it has quite the turn radius. So we are able to make... I mean, just look at this. We can make pretty tight corners. I say that as I hit the pole there. So disregard, that was a terrible example. That was literally just awful. Uh, but yeah, oh, I'm going to head back over uh, to the, I was going to say to the farm, because I'm so used to saying that, because we're playing farm sim. I'm going to head back up to the forestry area and uh, keep working on cutting down some more trees. Um, I don't think we have to haul iron today. Yeah, today's the day we have to haul iron. So tomorrow we'll have to haul some iron, um, but today we don't, which is nice. Don't go in front of me, car. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see how it all goes and everything like that, but uh 
I'm hoping we get another load done today. Even if we get it most of the way done and have it loaded up so we pretty much can uh, just haul it in the morning, that would be nice too because then we could start out the day tomorrow hauling a load. I mean, we can do hauling. I'd rather, hauling is easier to do at night compared to actual before she works. So I don't have an issue with that to be fair. But uh, yeah, I'll take this back up over where it needs to go and then I'll keep working on some stuff and I'll bring you guys back in when something happens. All right, so I've done some more forestry. I'm gonna turn down our game volume a little bit for you guys. I hope it's not as obnoxious now. Um, I want to knock some of these trees out because they're being annoying. I do want to get rid of some of these rocks too, but I think we're just going to have to wait till the snow melts for that because otherwise we're going to be trying to move gravel that's in the snow, I guess, if that makes any sense. But anyhow, uh, so yeah, I got some more loaded up. I did, Richard let me buy a couple upgrades. So we have, for one, on the front here, we have an extender so we can have no issues getting over the top of that now. And because that does add a lot of weight, on the front there, we also have a rear weight. So we are good now. Richard allowed me to buy those things. It's only a few thousand dollars for those, so it wasn't really a big deal to Richard. He doesn't mind me buying small upgrades like that. A new tractor? No, nah, he's not really a fan of that. But hey, we'll take what we can get. So um, let's see if we can't uh, get this guy set up to run the... That guy over there. I'm hoping this does a little bit better. We will see though, it may not. Let's get that guy disconnected and hopefully get this guy just out of the way. Yeah, this thing is terrible. Uh, <laughs> it's great if you need a cheap tractor, I suppose, but uh, it's not the uh, most ideal situation. Let's just park him under here. I'll just get him out of the way for now. There we go. Okay. Let's go hop back up here, getting this guy. All right, and we should be able to take out some more stumps a little bit easier now. This adds quite a bit of horsepower. Of course, we're still rolling down the hill. So, so far it's not Proving to be useful. Well, at least you got that one. And we can't go up the hill. Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right. Maybe we don't deal with some of that stuff on the hill. Yeah, we just need a stronger tractor. This is also a lot for any tractor, honestly, to pull up this hill here. So to be fair to the tractor, I don't want to. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. That was stupid. Come on now. There we go. There's one stump there. Another one out of the way. I just figured that I probably can run these ones over. And that would get it lined up right. So I might as well get it on the way up here. There we go. There are a lot of stumps up here. We're going to have our work cut out for us in the spring, that's for sure. Come on now. Did I lose it? I swore we would have already gone over it by now, so maybe I lost that one. Okay, let's get rid of some of these little trees that are the real issue. There, if we kill that thing, it'll give us a little bit more horsepower to the actual movement of the tractor. There we go. Those things do get rid of them. They go away pretty easily, which is nice. Let's get rid of this one while we're up here. Okay. Gosh, these things are everywhere. They're like the weeds of trees. They're just in the way. I think for the bushes don't have collisions, but it would be nice if these guys didn't. Not very realistic, to be fair, but it would be nice. There we go. All right, and part of this too is the snow. Not having the snow around will definitely make things a little bit easier, I think. There we go. We'll sneak in there. I think if we just get this, these two out of the way. 
darn it missed that one away a little bit there come on now it is starting to get dark out thankfully we think we can still get a full load tonight even with doing a little bit of this here and there so i would like to get that trailer unloaded oh let's kill that for a second can do it all right and there that got rid of at least a few of our problems through here let's go park this guy just back down here out of the way for now yeah as soon as it gets on that dirt definitely less issues with uh, traction there but uh yeah, so I did try to not use the wheel loader and tried to put the logs on via the machine. That proved to be extremely ineffective and only caused a lot more issues. So I'm done doing that. Um, if you have the FDR logging equipment, it's pretty easy to do that sort of stuff, which I may install that stuff at some point. That stuff is really nice, to be honest. Let's try the automatic. I do like the automatic. It doesn't always work, though. Like you can see, that didn't really work there. There we go. Okay. Yeah, these rocks, we're slowly working around our obstacles. This is definitely not the ideal forestry area terrain type stuff, but this is what Richard has us working on for now. So we're gonna keep working on it until we get otherwise permission to go somewhere else. I'm pretty sure that arm. Oh, there it is, side to side like that, okay. Oop. back up here just get that out there because we can fix it all up oh wow that was just awful well i guess that is what it is at least we got three logs off of that tree though look for the positive where we can <laughs> since nothing seems to go as planned for me that's okay uh, we'll go up and grab that tall one here real quick we have, we have, honestly, we have cut a lot of trees down, to be fair. I don't know how many we've done in the series. That should be, oh, we're multiplayer. It's not going to be statistics, so never mind. We are on Richard's account. We can move back to ours, but it doesn't matter a whole lot. We're going to have to move back to Richard's anyways to sell. So, but uh, yeah, let's get up here and get this. I did think about making like a pile of logs up here and coming and loading them up here, but I do worry a little bit about them rolling down the hill and stuff like that. So I've decided that it would probably be just best to Keep hauling them down to the bottom. Even if it is slowly taking more and more time. Yeah, you know, sometimes the auto wants you to cut it really high up to the auto uh, alignment function or whatever, which obviously I don't want to do because I want more tree. And those stumps are a pain to drive over as opposed to one that's not, uh, not in the way as much is a little bit easier to deal with. Okay, let's try to get across here. Should just take a thumbnail shot of this log pile here. That pretty much sums up the episode and all the chaos that I've had to endure. That's okay. Get that done here. I actually might take a thumbnail shot of that here. I might put a quick cut in. Well, I'm going to get some more. I'm probably going to take a thumbnail shot. I'm going to cut a couple more trees down, get this thing loaded up. We'll probably go get ready to sell it off, and then we'll probably call it good there. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right. End of the day for sure. Let's get this uh Loaded up here. Um, this should be a pretty good load, to be honest. Now we just got to make it down without uh, killing ourselves. And then I think, oh gosh, well, that was not good there. Uh, but anyhow, I think we will wrap the episode up after that. Let's also try to do this without rolling. It will be more fun in cab, of course. Um, but yeah, let's try to do this without rolling the truck here. Okay, so far so good. Could just set a cruise control at a very low speed. That might actually be a pretty good idea. But yeah, we'll get this down. We'll sell it off. We'll see kind of where we're sitting. And then I think that'll be where we'll have to wrap up the episode for um, today. Now, I know these episodes had a little bit less. I'm just going to go in front of this car. Or maybe not. Ooh, don't hit me. I know this episode had a little bit less going on compared to some other episodes. Um, and the reason for that, I know I kind of explained a couple episodes ago, but in case you forgot, is I'm trying to record a couple of episodes. That way you guys have some stuff for to watch or to watch while I am out of town. I'll be out of town for two weeks for work, doing some training out of town. Um, so I won't be able to really record a lot those two weeks. So I'm trying to 
not only do the videos for this week, but also do videos for two other weeks has been a lot, to be honest. Um, so I'm trying to get as much as I can done. Um, there will be probably some days without videos just because it just is what it is. And I am behind for sure. But um, yeah, so I appreciate first off your patience bearing with me in that time. Um, there'll be no live streams for two weeks. Um, it'll be the last week of April of 2023 and the first week of May 2023 that I'm out of town. Uh, but other than that, everything's gonna be great. So. Yep, I just wanted to mention that. But uh, yeah, in terms of us on here, I think next episode, hopefully when we come back in here, this will be my last uh, episode I'm going to pre-record until I get back from that two-week trip. I'm hoping next episode we can start uh, working on getting ourselves set up for uh, success in terms of, well, I think we should start looking at land that we're going to buy and stuff like that. Um, well, keep an eye out for land prices. So hopefully we can get a good deal on some land because we have a mod in here that uh, helps the land prices fluctuate a little bit. Take it easy. We don't want to take this corner probably at 55. 40 is probably plenty. Uh, but yeah, so we'll do that and then hopefully keep an eye out for, well, honestly, we want to keep an eye out for any used equipment that we may want to buy. Uh, so we can hopefully, I'm hoping some forestry stuff comes up for sale. I just, somehow I feel like I doubt we'll get that lucky. If we do get that lucky, I mean, I'm, there's nothing I can do to program or do any of that. I'm assuming we won't get that lucky, but our first forestry harvesting piece of equipment is probably not going to be anything super fancy um yeah and we're probably not gonna be able to finance it because the bank may not want to give us the loans considering we are a very small operation um the good news is we don't have to spend too much on getting a transport method because we should be able to use our truck with a different back for it so we should just be able to buy a four sheet back well i mean by buy i mean we're gonna probably have to pay someone to make us one but that's okay um, not a big deal there um that'll be, we have a truck and the truck will be paid off by then because our payments in we have what one two three four five six seven yep seven payments left um did i did i write these correctly i'm looking at down on my chart here i cross off january but then i don't have a february on here so january february march april may june july august september yeah, so I do have one other one on here that I need to put on here that I didn't for whatever reason. And that should be 12. I gotta count this now. Three, four, five. We've made four payments so far, so we should have eight left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yes. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, to pay off the truck loan. Gosh. Craziness. Sorry. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, pull this pull straight in this time as well. Let's just pull over that, and then we will undo the tension straps and then we'll make sure everything actually sells off and we need to switch accounts real quick over to there we go 34273 that was a good load for us 34273 times 0.4 our cut is 13709 that is really good that was our best load yet um, okay that's add in our 13709 now remove 13709 we are sitting at 86 grand, folks. That is incredible. That is Welcome, everyone. Farmer Cop here. This is going to be episode 16 of Silver Run Forest, and I know it has been a hot minute, to say the least, since I've last recorded an episode. So a couple of things as we get going here. First off, I am at DJ's house, and <laughs> there he is, and he's watching me record while he eats his breakfast, which is fries and wings, which I love. it. Leftover fries and wings, uh, which is awesome. But it's been fun hanging out with DJ. I'm trying to get a few videos pre-recorded as we get ready to head off to FarmCon here in a couple of days, uh, which is going to be awesome. But a couple notes. Since I'm not at my house, I am at DJ's house recording this. I will note that it might sound a little bit different, so I apologize for that. It actually will probably sound better, I'll be completely honest with you guys. But <laughs> regardless of that, I also want to note that I forgot my sticky notes. So the payments that we've been making on our truck, I think we have eight left, and I think it was $1,400 a month. So I'm just going to say that's it. Uh, also, I think our rent for our place that we're staying in game here is $100 a day, so I'm, or $100 a month. So I'm going to stick with that number. And we get a 40-60 split off the logs that we're hauling for Richard here on the map. So I think that's what we're doing. And I'm going to say that our contract with him runs out in November, where we've been working for him for, I think, 12 months or close to that by that point. So we're just going to rock and roll with those numbers. Another thing, just forewarning, I am planning to do this uh, series for another probably 5 to 10 episodes. So just note that. If you guys want it, if there's a lot of you that want to see it go further than that, I'm happy to keep going. But I think that's right about where I want to kind of... Uh, get going so we're probably just over halfway done with the series right now is the plan but regardless of that i do need to actually bump my time up to five times 
and we are going to harvest some trees today as we we're doing every day because this is a forestry series so that's all we do on here um but yeah so we're gonna harvest some more trees today hopefully get some of those cleared out um and just basically today is just gonna be kind of just me i'm probably gonna do a fair amount off camera today just because i'm trying to get some stuff done to get some uh trees cleared out here um we have a lot of trees everywhere. The terrain is actually very unforgiving up here. We also have a lot of stumps out here we might want to clear out at some point today, too, um, in game here. So we'll see about that. But, uh, yeah. And a lot of these trees are now starting to get in places that are more difficult to access. So uh, if you remember from the map here, if we go up here, um, this is the plot we're working on, uh, plot 25. But we're working around this area. Um, and I think we've gotten out to kind of about this range here. And then we have a lot of stuff downhill that we could go get, which we might. Um, we also could get some of the, oh, I don't know if I want to get all those trees back there, but I might actually try to go up the road here. We might try to do some more logging up over here because um, I think this up here will be a little bit easier for us to get access to. So actually, you know what? Just to start off, let's just go ahead and hop in our pickup truck and we'll go scout that out a little bit just to see how that's going to go up there. Because I think if we find a better spot to Work in, we'll do a little better. And actually, good lord, look at our fuel as well. We probably should get some fuel while we're out. Or we're going to run out pretty quick here. Oop, I'm just going to drive over that boulder. That's what I meant to do. So, no worries there. Uh, I'm just going to keep rock and roll. It's probably one on the crash counter if we had one going. Um, everything's great, though. Oop, and there's another boulder. So, that's another one on the crash counter. All right, we're going to drive in cab. Pretend like we're real people. If the game, there we go, it loaded in there. Uh, oh, my door's open while I'm driving, too. That's that's something. Let's see if we can shut that. There we go. Probably want that closed while we're driving down the road. All right. Beautiful. So, yeah, I know our original plan on this series was to um, build a logging empire, but I think that's going to be... If we were going to do that, this is probably going to be like a 40 or 50 episode series to actually get that done. Um, so I don't know if we're going to go quite that hardcore. I think, I think it's probably just going to be better if we investor efforts other ways and other things i do have a plan for where we're going to go next after we're done here so i'm excited about that um okay and of course there's no there's no fuel nearby anyways um, i guess we could go down and get some at richard's place down there but um okay so yeah right here is actually it's already a little bit better up here if we wanted to start working our way across here there is a hill here but we could bring the logs down the hill um there's quite a few actually right here next to the road that we could grab pretty easily we wanted to get those and again it does loop around we might actually go check out that over our fuel is literally flashing at us okay we need to just go get fuel um or we're gonna have a lot more issues we're probably gonna run out of fuel i'm gonna go get some from richard i'll i'll just pay him back later we'll just drive down to the bottom and grab that real quick so uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go get some fuel then i'm gonna come back up here to the top and then uh yeah then we'll keep uh, scouting out some areas so i'll see you guys here in just a second while i go get some fuel all right, and we are heading back up. We got some new fuel here. He cheated it in. <laughs> I saw him do it. I actually did. Uh, we ran out of fuel on the way because I was talking to DJ while I left the truck on in the game. So I just paid Richard for the fuel and f 12 it in. So I didn't have to deal with it. But regardless he of that. He didn't even pay for it. I did. I took 120 out. Don't listen to DJ. You shouldn't listen to him. Except for Farm Sim News. That's the only thing you should listen to. Though I will say our truck won't shift up. Can we do that? Can we go faster than 10? Our truck's literally broken. This is, uh... I am not doing this. I want it to shift up. It shouldn't be a manual shift here. Literally driven so many things on here. I don't know what's going on today. Everything's fine, though. Gear shift mode. Automatic. Okay. Okay, it just doesn't want to shift. It's broken. Oh, well, there it goes. Now it's shifted. That was weird. Okay. Well, this is because I complained about it. They decided it needed to shift now. Uh, okay, so up here, lots of trees to get through here, I think. But let's go that little kind of dirt road that's on the back side of the property. Let's go check that out. I think it's going to be rough through there, but we just want to find a good area that's going to have a lot of trees that are easy for us to cut down. So we're going to head up this way. And this is not looking good so far, but we could get up here and it'd be a little bit better. All right, there's a cliff on one side. That's always good. And a steep hill on the other. So this is probably not the ideal place. There's a lot of trees along here, though, that would be easy to grab. But I just don't think that's going to be ideal for us. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, it's literally terrible. That is the one thing. I love Silver Run Forest, but it is so difficult to do forestry on rough terrain. It's definitely a, it's a good challenge, don't get me wrong. And it's honestly more realistic, but it is definitely, definitely just more of a challenge and more difficult to do. But okay, and there's the shop down there. But so up here on the right, actually, there is quite a few trees that are pretty easy to get across through here. Um, we might actually come up here and start working our way up this way. We'll kind of have to see here, but I think we'll go up next to the road first, um, probably for this episode, and we'll start grabbing those trees because I think that'll be a good spot to go. So um, let's drive back up. We'll ditch this. We got to bring all the equipment over, which is going to be. Oh, I need to go this way. Which is going to be. This is the second time Miss has turned today. Um, which is going to be definitely a bit of a hassle to get it all over there, but uh, I think it'll be fine. And actually, one thing. This area right through here actually be really easy to knock out too. So we actually might come up and grab this area on our way and just work our way down from there. Um, I think that'll be what we'll do. That's now my fifth plan and my 12th boulder that I've hit. So it should all be good. And actually, yeah, right right along there, the other side of this uh, kind of pond is actually pretty, looks pretty straightforward to do. So I think that'll be a good spot for us to work. So I'm just gonna park this guy off the side, turn it off for sure. It's already burnt through Good lord, it's already burnt through a quarter of a tank and we've just been driving around for six minutes. If that, no, three minutes. Yeah, three minutes driving kills it. Uh, okay, we'll just take this down there first. So obviously this is what we're going to have to use first here, so make sure I got, uh, remember how to use this thing. Yeah, 12 meter length is terrible, actually. I did, I did testing on this. Um, so eight meters is what we're going to stick with. Um, I think that's a good... It's a good middle ground there, and then we're going to turn that on, and we should be good to go. So, perfect. Okay. And we will head over here, and we are going to... The problem is that the trees are going to want to roll down the hill, which is part of the issue we're going to run into. Okay, there we go. And I think it's Z... Nope, that folds it. Never mind. That's not it. Uh... O is the right one. That's right. Okay. So I'll get it over there. I do love the auto kind of setup there. Oh, that was a heavy tree. <laughs> All right, we'll back ourselves up. Maybe this is a. Oh, this tree is not wanting to come out. We're having all sorts of issues here today. I might just actually just plop it down there. Yeah, that might actually be just the place to go. I don't think we're going to be able to take this too far because it's so heavy. There we go. Okay. That's good, 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 good. Let's grab an archery. That actually worked out perfect lengthwise as well. we'll try to get all of our trees kind of in that area. Problem is we have some of these trees that are going to be in the way. So actually what we're going to do as well, because these guys are going to drive me absolutely crazy. Can we? This one we can. So we'll chop that one down. I'm just going to chop it up in little pieces. That's okay. Well, I'm going to try to get rid of this one here. I'm not allowed to cut this tree. It must not be on our property. There we go. Perfect, okay. And where's the big part of that? Here we go, okay. So this guy, we'll make another pile of like junk trees somewhere in the area. Oh boy. We honestly should get like a wood chipper. That'd be the perfect uh, kind of scenario there, but I don't think it'll be worth our hassle. Um, okay. So this guy, I don't think we can, yeah, we can't cut this guy down. The downy service berries are my least favorite tree. As you guys know by now, because uh, they're just obnoxious and always in the way. This tree we can get out of the way though, and then we're gonna. So what we'll do is we'll go grab our stump grinder on the back of that one tractor that we have up there, and we'll bring that down here. Try to get rid of the downy service berry and a couple of these stumps as we're going, just to make our life a little bit easier. Because if we get the stumps out of the way, that'll make it a little bit better for us here. 
Let's go grab that tractor. Perfect. Start this baby up. I do love this tractor. This was a fantastic addition to the game, I think, with the Platinum Expansion. Alright, we'll get down here. I also, actually, honestly, need to grab the uh, um, hydraulic breaker and get it up here and actually clear out some of this junk as well. Some of the... Uh, some of the, whatchamacallit, some of these boulders up here. There we go, that was perfect. Okay, we'll get rid of, there should be a couple stumps in here as well. Problem is you lose them, and then you hit them later, and that's how you find them. But there's a couple over here, there we go. There we go. Should be able to knock this one out as well. Perfect. Just knock a couple of these guys out. These trees are smaller, so we're not going to do a lot with them. There's that other stump I was looking for. There we go. All right. So those are out of the way. So let's park this guy out of the way as well. And actually what we'll do is we'll park him up here. Let's see if we can climb over this real quick. Because we'll need something to push the... Uh, logs up against when we go to load them. So I'll just park him right there. Alright, there we go. And then I'm actually going to bring the uh, wheel loader and truck down here just to get them staged. Run a little bit quicker here, there we go. So I'll bring, I'll bring this truck down first here. All right. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be more of a pain to get some, I think I think moving down there will be helpful for us because it's been, it's been a bit of a pain to drop or to drag some of these uh, logs up the hills and stuff through here. This is just not super friendly terrain to log on. That is for sure. So we'll, we'll pull right off here. That should be that should be perfect. Turn that guy off. And then we'll run up, grab the wheel loader. There we go. Would be nice if we had a nicer wheel loader, that's for sure. Be a little bit easier to grab more logs, I think, but. But this works for now. Okay, and well, I'm just gonna stage him down here. So that way, if any of the logs start to kind of roll down the hill, this will hopefully stop them. Unless we don't stop going down the hill either. This is not going well. Come on, you can do it. Oh no. Oh, I can't stop. Oh. oh, that was almost really bad. This wheel loader is the worst. You can do it. Come on. Oh, that was almost really bad. I mean, it honestly was pretty bad, but it could have been worse, I guess. There we go. All right. You can just stay right there. Please don't move. Okay. All right. So this should work out a lot better for us. Let's grab another tree here. We'll just grab this little one if we can. Actually, we may not let us grab this one. This might be too small. Oh, no. It's got it. We got it. I'll let it stage itself because it doesn't like where I put it. There we go.
Trying to get that somewhat lined up there. And I'm hoping because we're doing eight foot lengths, I'm hoping we make a little bit more off of the trees we're getting. But uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, uh, we've been going for a while now. I'm gonna go ahead and put a break in here. I'm gonna get a, a, a truckload done and then I'll bring you guys back in when it's time to get those sold off. And that'll probably be this episode. Uh, but yeah, we're getting back into the swing of things. We're going to keep going on Silver Run Force for the time being. We still want to make some good money and get some good logging done. And I'm hoping we can sell you some of the larger equipment on here since that was kind of our, our whole purpose. So we'll get to that at some point as well. Though it might be while we're working for Richard, so just be aware of that. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys here in a bit. I'm going to get some logging done. All right, so we do have a full load of logs-ish right now. It isn't quite as full as we normally have because normally we're doing 12 meter lengths. Obviously, we did eight meter lengths this time. I think overall, we're going to make more money anyways doing this um, because we're going to get more logs per tree and everything like that. And I think we're just going to get better lengths and everything. So I think this is just going to be better for us. But let's go ahead and take a look at where we should sell these guys. Okay, wood prices. What is a good price? Yeah, okay, the price is fine. 1087 at the paper factory. Uh, we might do that. However, I think that's going to be a tricky one to get to. Yeah, paper factory down there. So um, I think from where we're at, I think, oh goodness. We need that road there. So I think we had a, I just don't know which ones are, because I know that's down on the stream, so this goes above it. So we need one of these roads here, but I think we can get off there uh, to get to it. So that's, that is a way. Um, yeah, I think this, oh, this road will go down there. This road will definitely go down there. So we'll just drive down here, take that road up over to it. So that'll be the easiest way to go about it, I think. So um, let's drive over there. We'll get this sold off. I'll keep you guys in here. It's usually pretty chaotic when I'm trying to transport logs. So we'll try not to obviously roll the truck because that will be a problem. All right, there we go. We're on the road. That should help us out at least a little bit. We still want to make decent time. So we want to be quick, but not too quick. I suppose is probably the best way to put it. So we've got to be careful on corners, but once we get down here on the straightaway, it should be pretty, pretty easy for us to Get this rocking and rolling. But uh, yeah. And if you guys haven't already, um, check out the video I posted uh, about the new premium edition or premium expansion of the game that has been announced. Um, so make sure you guys check that video out on my channel, but very exciting. He and of hasn't course, made the video at the time of recording this yet. <laughs> DJ's right, I have not made the video yet, but I know for a fact this episode of Silver Run Forest will come out after that video. It's been released for a while. Uh, so I just thought I'd mention it in there because we just got the email from Giants about it. But anyhow, uh, it's, it's all good. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, so sometimes I just am able to plan ahead that good. That's just how good I am. So I just try, you know. But uh, anyhow, if you guys want to pre-order it, I do have a link down below in the description to be able to do that. Or if you're going to buy any DLCs from Farming Center 22 or 19, if you're still playing old school, um, I'm all about it. Make sure you guys use code FarmerCop at checkout. It all goes to support the channel. Um, so I do appreciate that when you guys do that to get the Giants version of the game. That is awesome. Helps me out. Unfortunately, if you're on console, you can't do it. But and all of you PC players, you definitely need to get that version of the game or that version of the expansion. So... Uh, make sure you guys are doing that because it does. Oh, wait, did we go? We need to go where? We need to. Oh, we don't want to go this way. This is going to add a lot to our trip. We need to back up. That's good. Glad I noticed it now. So we wanted to take a left there. All good. All good. There we go. Okay, perfect. But yeah, so we'll get this sold off, and that'll probably end of this episode in terms of because we're just we're going to be out of time. Basically, is going to be the the thing we're going to run into here. Uh, when it is February 1st, actually, so the one thing I did forget to do is pay rent and pay our our uh, truck payment for this month. So I do need to do that, actually. That is a good point. Oh, goodness, that is not quite the road I thought we were going to have going across there, but apparently it's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, well, actually, this is, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to have a lot of issues there. Okay, and I think we need to turn into there, so let's... Thankfully, this truck is pretty good at making tight corners, so that we should be able to turn in there, no problem. There we go. Okay. Oh, do we not fit? 
Oh no, we're too tall to go through there. All right, so we gotta loop around the other side. Well, well, before I forget again, let's go ahead and pay our rent for the month, and then we need to pay that truck payment. So there we go. That took those out of there, and I'm gonna mark off another truck payment. So we have seven to go, which actually, um, seven times 1,400, let's just do the math on that real quick. We might as well just pay the truck off um, because we don't have a lot left to do on it. So let me just pull up a calculator here. So that's another $9,800, um, which let's just, let's just pay the truck off. There we go. All right, truck is paid off. That's easy peasy. We have the money, we might as well do it. So um, that way it's all taken care of. We might actually be able to haul some uh, iron ore as well. We need to look into that. See if we can do some of that. We'll probably end up doing that next episode here. Um, okay, so I've never sold here before. So I'm assuming we are just going to pull into here. The truck fits under there, so that actually works out really well. Uh, okay. It's let me lift that? I must have, do I have super strength on? I do, I don't know why I have that on. Okay, so what, let's see how that goes. Um, okay, 23887, so we didn't do great to be completely honest. So um, we need to take 60% of that away. So 23887 times 0.6, uh, 14332 we need to take out of our account, which needs to go to Richard. So 14322. So let's take that out. 14, 3, 2, 2. Okay. So that's going right here. We're at 84,000. So we're not doing too bad. It definitely could be better. I think we should, yeah, we'll fit under here now that we got the wood off of here. So, um, yeah, but that is going to be. Yep. All right. And welcome back, everyone. Farmer Cop here. This is episode 17 of Silver Run Forest. So I just grabbed a load of iron here, which we actually might have another load there. So um, again, we'll haul this down um, the mountain. So I can't remember again what we originally originally articulated for our price. Um, so I'm gonna do $3,000 per load. I think that's what we did before. So uh, we get paid three grand per load that we haul. Um, I think that actually might be a touch higher, but I think that's pretty reasonable. So uh, we'll haul that down. I did also do some forestry off camera. It's still the same day as when we had episode 16. Um, so I did a little bit since then, uh, but not a lot. I cut down a few more trees. It's been easier getting trees done because, well, where we're at, um, yeah, it's just easier to do them because there's, uh, it's just flatter. So that's been nice. So I have a, uh, I have like a half load of trees loaded up right now, which is nice. So that's all, that's all fine and dandy and good. But uh, yeah, we'll try to get this rock and rolling here we actually might take a little shortcut normally i will have auto drive kind of do some of it for me so i can get some of the cinematic shots and stuff like that but i actually think it'll be faster to take this route here um yeah this should be a faster route so and this will take us up on the back side of richard's shop and we probably should get some fuel for this guy as well um, while we're over in town since this guy's running a little low as well but um yeah so uh, we're getting stuff done again i did mention that silver run forest will be going another five to ten episodes or so um, so I think that's probably a good, a good place for it to go. Um, we'll see though. So again, I'm pre-recording probably, probably three or four episodes, uh, total from 16, so probably 16, 17, 18, and 19 will all be pre-recorded before I head off to FarmCon. So that's the goal right now. Also do some No Man's Land episodes and everything like that. So that's kind of the plan, but we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, perfect. We made it up there. Ooh, that was, that was a tough corner. That was a tough corner. But at least we didn't have any issues getting up and down the hill there, so. We'll back it up here a second. There we go. And start heading this way. So there you go. Um, we'll get this done offloaded, maybe, if we can actually get going here. But yeah, so our goal today, keep doing forestry, keep rocking along, keep rocking and rolling. Um, we'll probably do like a load a day. We might plant some trees for Richard at some point. Um, I do still want to own our own forestry operation if we can. I think that is kind of our goal. Um, we did buy some land. Did we buy some land? No, we didn't. We were looking into land land. That's right. Um, yeah, we were looking into it. No, maybe we did. We did buy plot 32, didn't we? That's our farm, isn't it? No. Other. Okay, we don't have any land. Okay. Yep, it's, pro it's partially problematic because we're under the same... Uh, I might edit that actually and do... Just... Uh, I don't know, one that's not being used. Let's do that one. Yeah, we're not using that one. So it's just a little bit easier to tell 
um, on the map and which stuff is ours as well. So we don't own any land, but we could potentially buy a plot out here. Um, oh, some of those are really expensive right now, but we might keep keep an eye out for some land so we can buy some land and do our own forestry because we'll obviously make a little bit of money off it or make our own money off of it um, and make better money by obviously getting 100% of the profit from our forestry. So I think that'll be good. Um, I actually don't even remember right now what the best tree was to plant, but if we can get some trees planted on our plots, um, even if we obviously we still have a contract with Richard, we could do our own stuff, but uh, per our contract, we're supposed to do about a load a day if we can so we've already done our load for today and we'll almost have our load ready for tomorrow so if we can get uh keep up with that contract with richard where he gives us a little bit extra but we have to do a load of uh, forestry for him every day um and so get some of our own stuff rock and roll and i think that'll give us the money to be able to uh, get our own forestry empire start i'm trying to pass this car but it's not going very well uh, but anyhow we're at the iron iron place here the iron smelter uh but yeah so that's kind of the plan we got a lot of stuff going on but uh yep we made it here so we can give ourselves our $3,000 payment for getting that delivered. Uh, but there we go. So I'm going to keep working on some stuff off camera. I'll probably bring you guys back in tomorrow morning. Um, and then we'll probably start off tomorrow morning selling off a load of logs. So I'll see you guys then. All right. So it is the next day on here. A couple things have happened. Um, well, for starters, we go outside here. It has snowed, of course, because it's february so that's just the way it went um i got a little more logging done but not a lot because our wheel loader would not really work in the snow so we're actually probably gonna have to wait for some of it to melt till we can actually get some stuff done which is a problem because i see snow in the forecast as well um however i think what we will do is maybe go take a look at a couple plots of land that we might want to buy so we might do that today check out some prices and stuff like that um the other thing is i did take this thing to get a little bit of a tune-up for it um and uh you can see the damage 34 percent again um, and i refueled it because i did need that and i also hauled a second load of metal so we got an extra three grand from that which was nice um but yeah so let's take a minute let's take a look here um at some different chunks of land and i know that they will sell this if we wanted to buy that one as well um so we could do that but uh these little plots over here are so extra expensive right now which is not ideal. That one's 12% off, but that's an expensive plot of land. Um, somehow we can afford that. I don't know what we do with it, but we can afford it. Um, that one's 83% more. That one's crazy there. Yeah, so there's quite a few like good plots, I think, to start with. Oh, I was hoping that would be a shorter plot there. Um, but I think, unfortunately, right now, a lot of them are a little too expensive for us. So I might have to just hold out here in the winter for a little bit and hope that... Uh, when the weather gets nicer, that the plot... Oh, that's one we could afford up there. That actually might not be... We should go look at that one. I know that one's a little expensive, but it is 12% off right now, and that would give us a lot of trees to do. And it's right next to the sawmill. So that might be a good one. So we might drive up over there and take a look at that. Um, yeah, we might actually do that. We might hop up here to our truck and go take a look at that. So, um, yeah, I'm actually... I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go up to our truck and... Um, get in it and uh, I'll drive over there and I'll see you guys there in just a second because I think we should go take a look at that plot at least to see um, how it's looking over there so I'll see you guys here in just a second all right and we're actually gonna stop here and get fuel real quick just because I'm thinking about it um, this thing burns through fuel like crazy this doesn't have a very big tank and it burns a lot of fuel um, I can't wait till we get rid of this truck but anyhow okay <laughs> as we keep going here uh, just something that works a little better. It's just across, it should be just across the way here. Yeah, so it should start in this area. If we pull over, we look at the map here. So it should be, yeah, just this whole area right along here. Basically, yeah, right along this stream. And then just cuts over there. So this is actually a really good chunk here. That's a lot of land too. Um, and this one's... I made sure this one was listed now. It still looks pricey, but now again, these two, I mean, even being a little bit pricier, $28,000 is a lot cheaper than potentially getting this. It's 10% off. Let's see here. Yeah, these ones are still pretty pricey and they're all overpriced right now. They're all marked up pretty good. That one's, that would be a really good. Well, I don't know. Actually, a real good chunk is the way to put that one. That one actually might be a little rough. Could also buy a field, do some farming. 
<laughs> uh, that kind of defeats our purposes on here, but we could do it. Selling 70% more and it's 16 grand. So that means that's a super cheap chunk of land normally. Um, but yeah, it would be great to start kind of over here. Um, but I think if we can afford this, this one will, this will last us a while and it's 12% off, which is great. That means it's normally like 90 something thousand. Uh, but yeah, let's just kind of scope it out here. So just along the stream, all these trees would be easy to get. Easy peasy. There's quite a few trees through here as well. Streams right over there. A lot of streams through here. Now the sequoias should actually get us a little bit of money. We just have to chop them down by hand. They actually, I think, updated that after I did my tree test. Uh, it seems like you actually make decent money from them now. It's not amazing, but it is decent. So we should be able to make some money from them as well. Um, there's the pond there. So actually this, this jungle land isn't huge, but we will definitely make that money back doing some forestry on here. And I actually, what I like about it is it's fairly flat is we could come up here and actually plant. Oh, and that's the edge of the map. Okay, so we have to be careful there. So it looks like we have more than we actually do probably. So all this through here. So I think this would actually work out pretty good for us. Um, the concern for me is there's actually not a ton of trees up here, but it is a really flat chunk of land. So it'd be easier to clear this, I think, than most places, because most of this is pretty flat um, compared to the rest of the map. So, oh man, it is expensive. It is expensive. That would clear us out pretty good. Um, $83,000, we only have 89,000 at the bank. I think we just, worst case scenario is we can always sell it back. Let's just go ahead and buy it. Um, I think that'll, that'll help us out there. So um, there we go. We own land which I actually was not even really planning on doing this episode. The problem, of course, is we still need to work for Richard for this year and get loads done for him, but we now have a chunk of land that we can rely on to come out and do our own stuff. So I'm hoping we can make the money off of Richard doing our forestry for him. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping we can do that. So we have to do, um, and I did say, I did, I did think I said in the last episode, we need to do one load every day. We just need to do one load every month for him. So um, we technically, the load we have mostly loaded up for February, because we're, we're probably not gonna be able to do anything more right now, just because I think the, the snow on the ground does make it difficult using his equipment. So um, that is one thing we have to be careful of. Um, and we do, are, we are gonna have to use our, obviously our own equipment to do our own forestry, or we're gonna have to rent it or lease it or, whatever the case may be. And that's obviously gonna be fairly expensive um, getting going. And we're probably gonna to have to start out doing that because I doubt we're gonna be able to buy all new equipment or get all new stuff. Um, obviously I'll keep an eye out for sales in the shop if we can get some stuff to kind of help us out a little bit there. But uh, yeah, but for now, I think I am going to actually probably just kind of wait the day out because I can't um, do a whole lot. I actually, I should be able to go up and cut some trees down. I just can't load them. So I should actually be able to get a couple piles of trees probably set up up there so we can just kind of do some load and go for the next couple of days. Um, I will talk to Richard and see if we can work our contract off early. And what I mean by that is, well, we have X amount of months left. Can we just, uh, get that many loads done and call it good? Um, I know we're allowed to do more loads if we want to, but I'll talk to him and see if we can't work it off early and um, he's always been really cool with us, so I think that'll probably be fine, but we'll talk to him about that. But uh, yeah, so anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and I will probably just see you guys next time we're going to take a load into town of wood, um, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, it is morning again, and I haven't looked outside. Is there still snow? There is still snow. Well, at least it should be hopefully melting here soon because it is March 1st, so I'm hoping today it melts. I'm hoping today it melts. Uh, pretty deep out here actually but uh yeah so uh, we'll just actually just hop up here real quick it'll just be a little easier than us walking around up there to save you guys the time um so i forgot to turn it off yesterday but i did do a lot of forestry and i actually went around with our stump grinder or not our stump grinder their stump grinder and i cleared out a lot of the stumps up around there and i cleared out well not all the fresh ones i just did but i did go through and clear out quite a few stumps so we still obviously have some dotted around, but they are pretty hard to find in the snow, we'll say that. So I figured that was something I can do, and I got, well, I got a lot of logs. This is probably, this is definitely enough to, um, okay, I thought I'd super, every time the hand goes on, I think I had super strength on. I was like, I didn't turn it on, but no, it's off. Okay, this one I can lift, though, because it's a small piece, probably. Yeah, that one I can lift. But anyhow, so we have quite a few pieces here. It'd be definitely enough to fill that up, and probably, this is probably another trailer full as well. 
uh, which is great. And I did talk to Richard. Richard has no issues with us getting out of our contract um, early if we go ahead and deliver the loads that he wants us to deliver because he says that's all he can expect from us. He said he would prefer if we uh, kept working for him longer and doing more loads because he makes obviously money off of us and doing that. And he's enjoyed working with us. But he does understand that that's what we came out here to do because we did. We we're very straightforward with him. So we need nine more total loads, and that includes the load we have loaded up here. Full loads, that is. This one isn't quite full. I want it to be a little bit higher than that for sure. Uh, so nine full loads, and then we are out of that contract if we need to be. So um, that is all good there. But yeah, that is what we got going on here. Our We got property. Things are going good for us. Um, I did check uh, sales. There wasn't anything. There actually was. They did have one of... Um, if I go down to forestry here, they did have one of these on sale, but I don't, I just don't think we're going to use it because it's not going to work super well for us, I don't think. So, um, yeah, but we could take, let's take a look here. Actually, I am curious. The cheapest forestry harvester is obviously this guy right here, but this one really isn't ideal. Um, the cheapest one that's ideal is like this guy here. Um, yeah, that guy there. 65, 71, 6, that's not a huge difference. We'll probably honestly start with this guy, uh, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, and then leasing this, well, right, I know I don't have enough money. Well, that's not good if we only have six grand. That's, uh, I'm, I'm curious, let's just switch over to, we're just gonna switch to Richard's account real quick, just so I can take a look at it. And I know I'm playing DJ Goham's house still, so it just shows his name in there, so you can ignore that. That's, that's why that is the way it is. Um, now, my forestry test, when I did a test, there was, I can't remember the tree type now, but um, there was a specific tree that we made more money off of when I did a forestry test. If you haven't checked out that video, it's a great video. It shows you how much you make from each tree that you can harvest, including the platinum expansion trees. Um, so this guy, the least this, and well, where I was going with that, safety from, we don't need that. We could be unsafe. Um, okay, $19,000 to start. The hourly, I'm not worried about, because that's, that's fine. Um, per workday is the big deal here. Thirty-seven fifty every day, so that's a big deal for us. So I think that's going to end up being seven grand a month. So seven thousand dollars a month to have this guy uh, out out there um, versus this guy. Okay, about eighty-five hundred and eight, almost nine thousand a month. So a couple thousand more, a little bit more per hour. Uh, so we could get this guy as well if we wanted to, because honestly, the difference between those two is not, I mean, the difference between these two, well, that one only does 64 centimeters. Um, I think, how come that one does bigger, bigger than this guy? 70 centimeters. That one just weighs a little bit more. That one does, of course, is 80 centimeters. And that one does 120, because that one does massive trees. But this one still won't do the sequoias. I've tested it. It won't do the sequoias, which is kind of interesting. So those you just have to do by hand uh, with a chainsaw, which kind of stinks, but that is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to look at my test video. I'm going to make sure this guy... So basically, the two things I want to make sure here, I want to make sure that we can plant some trees, because I think next episode, we're probably going to do that. I think we should plant some of our own trees. I know we already have... We have trees up there that need to be cut and everything like that. What we could do potentially is... Well, no, I don't think we do that. So we could potentially cut down some of the sequoias. But I think what we do is we go up there and we plant. Um, maybe we rent like a tractor or something and do. I mean, it is better if we rent this guy and use the special tree planter. But I think it's going to be way more expensive to rent this and that comparatively. So, um, yeah, what I think we just need to do is we need to plant a bunch of the most profitable trees that are going to be over there so we can have those grow through this year while we're still working on Richard's contract. Um, that way they're they're starting to save some time. And then while we're still waiting for those to finish up and grow, we will cut all the trees around them and all the other ones up on that plot. And I think that'll be a good way for us to make money. Because the reason I like that plot a lot, the plot that we bought up here, if we go up here, the map here, the reason I like this plot is because like this, it's flat. It's pretty flat. So it's a great spot to plant stuff and get all that stuff done and all that. So it's just good to go in terms of that, which I really like. Um, but yeah, we've made some progress today. This episode's not gonna be as long, I think, as normal episode would be, but I think this is a good stopping point for us on here. Um, so I think I am gonna call it an episode here. So I think, and I'm gonna make sure I transfer back to my actual farm over here, join farm, there we go. And we are still paying a leasing fee on our belts that we have um, up here at the, uh, 
at Johnson Mine. So we do have those that we're paying for, but that's fine. But yeah, I think welcome everyone. Farmer Cop here. This is going to be episode 18 of Silver Run Forest. So we have a rat last episode. We were waiting for the snow to melt. It literally just all melted off the ground here in March 1st. So um, yeah, we are going to finish loading this truck up. And then we're going to take that load to sell it. And then I think what I want to do this episode is plant some trees on our new land that we bought. So if you don't remember, last episode we purchased our first chunk of land, which is right up over here. Um, which, of course, now is way cheaper, and of course that's the way it works. But that's okay. We did it. It is what it is. And all these are still super pricey over there. Uh, but regardless of that, let's get some trees picked up here. Sold off, hopefully. Good load there, perfect. I don't want it all to roll down the hill, so I'm just gonna hang out there for a second. So hopefully they don't do that. I hope I don't lose any of these guys. Sometimes the front one likes to wiggle out a little bit. But this, this, I mean this one, this will be enough to fill this truck up here. Pretty good. Yep, just like that ish. Please don't fall off. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's definitely a good enough load for me. Before those have a chance to get crazy, I'll go ahead and strap them down. Okay. Turn that off. I guess it's also running. Nope, that's off. Tractor's running. Oh, nice and quiet now. Uh, okay, so let's get this thing rolling here. Let those settle a second. Um, okay, best price for wood. Now this load actually may not be as good as the other one, just because it didn't load quite as good as I think it could. And then, yeah, okay. Uh, the wood turner is going to be our best place to take this so we're gonna go ahead and take this down to the wood turner I think we I think we can uh, turn around in here last thing I want to do is roll this load so there we go okay should be able to just hopefully back in there I don't want to get stuck on that rock either There we go. A little bit of an angle there, but I think we'll be okay. All right. There we go. Okay. Head down the hill here. I don't want to take these corners too fast. Oh, there's a rock there. I forgot about that rock. That one always gets me. Always hit that one. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I remember where the wood turner's at. But I'm just going to double check. Should be like right in here, isn't it? Yeah, right down there. We've sold there before. Okay. Get this down there. And then I think we're going to look at, because we should make, I mean, we'll make 40% off of this load. And that'll be another load off of our contract, which will mean we need to do eight more loads, which I think we have at least another one up there. Um, we actually might run out of trees almost on that plot up there, which is fine. Richard has plenty of land. So we should be able to just move around and get what we need done. But, uh, yeah, so actually we'll turn on our beacons. I got a nice desk beacon light next to me, and I love it. Turn the beacons on there. Make sure it's clear here. Traffic for a while there. Yeah, we should be able to get up and go in front of them. But uh, yeah, now the other thing we're going to have to get to is something to transport logs. I was thinking about that. Our truck actually can do it fine. There's tension straps on that bin. I would like to obviously have a log back, but if we don't for starts, that's okay. When we eventually do start doing some forestry work. Um, but yeah, so we just need enough money today, honestly, to lease a tractor and lease a tree planter and buy some saplings. Um, and I'll do some research on what saplings we want to get going 
um, here shortly. I'll go. I'll jump into my game save that has all that uh, the test, the tree test on it set up, so that way I can I can hop on there and I want to just see if um, our tree harvester that we're going to be using is actually going to work on all of those uh, all of those different um, uh, trees that we could poten potentially use and figure out which trees it won't work for. So that way we at least know that when we go to plant. So um, we'll do that. Yeah, it's weird. I'm pre-recording, obviously, because I'm getting ready to do, or we're getting ready to go to FarmCon 23. I'm obviously visiting DJ right now. You guys didn't know that. And there he is in the background. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm. It's, it's interesting because I'm getting a few episodes of this done to come out while I'm traveling around. Um, however... It'll be, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Woo, that was close. I almost rolled the truck there. Wow, that was close. Okay. Whew. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Anyhow, as I was saying, um, yeah, I'll be traveling around, so um, I'm not going to be back on this game save after today when I'm recording this, probably for three weeks or so, which is kind of interesting. So, you know, maybe, maybe only two and a half, two and a half, two and a half to three weeks, so it's going to be a while. So it'll be a while before I get back on here and able to do any more Silver Run. You guys won't notice much of a change because you guys will get the episode slowly released over the next uh, couple of weeks. But I will notice. So, okay. Let's go ahead and just pull into here and cut those beacons off. Okay. Let's see what we get for this. Okay, 23881. I'm going to get my calculator out real quick on my phone. 23881. So we need to take 60% out, so take 14328 out. Alright. 14328 out. There we go. And we're at 15 grand. So that was good. We made 10 grand off that load. That is good. Now we need to take a look at. Um, let's just drive this over to the store. Because we're going to get stuff from there, anyways. This is not a great way to go about this, but um, that worked. There we go. We're on the quick side of the road again. Yes, yeah, so we'll drive over there. We'll take a look because I do want to look into leasing some stuff here. Obviously, I don't know what um, what trees we're going to do, and that could adjust the price a little bit for the saplings depending on what trees we do. So that might actually increase it a little bit. There we go. All clear. Perfect. I'm just going to pull right into here. Okay. So if we take a look at things in the store here. Um, there's nothing on sale we want. I wish we could lease a uh, used tractor. That'd be kind of nice. Um, so the tree planter, it's fairly heavy. So even if we... It's not really going to be a matter of horsepower, to be completely honest. It's going to be a matter of weight. Um... Let's see here, forestry equipment. How much is that planter? First off, how much is it to lease? So it requires 120 horsepower. And to lease it, it is $1,326. So um, I'm going to write that down on a sticky note because we need to have a total. So $1,326, and we'll only need it for an hour. That'll be, that'll be the only lease cost we pay for it. Now tractors, um, we need something that has enough horsepower. That's not quite enough. Um, that's going to be hopefully the cheapest possible tractor. 60 there. 105, we're getting closer. There's definitely got to be one in here that's going to do it. It's close, getting closer. Um, a lot of these are at 100, 150. Okay. So that is probably the one we will lease right there. That one does have the ability for a front weight, though, and that one will also do it. But this one, can we get, oh, we can put a front weight on it like that. 500 kilograms. I think that would be enough. So if we leased this, that would be 1810, so that's not bad. Um, that's actually a lot cheaper than I thought for um, a tractor. Um, and then, so actually, this is really not going to work out too bad for us at all. We actually could have done it even probably without selling anything. It would have been tight, obviously, but... Um, let's go to pallets here. Stick cage, interesting. All sorts of different weird fill types in here. 
Um, let's find, there we are, tree saplings. So this is what we would need to get. Now, obviously we can change it up. Well, they're all the same price in here. So then a thousand dollars for that. So we actually can do this pretty cheap. It's just gonna be what, one, two, three, four. Um, it's gonna be less than $4,500 to do this, which is really nice. We'll definitely make that back on the 20 trees. We actually might get two of these um, and do two sets of trees. That'll give us 40 trees, which I think will be good. We might even do more than that. We'll see how 40 trees goes and see what time we have on those. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go test to find out what trees we should, excuse me, what trees we should, uh, um, we should do here. And then I will bring you guys back in when it's time to lease that stuff and we'll get going from there. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, so I figured it out. We're gonna do Ponderosa Pine and that small tree harvester will be able to cut it if we want it to. Um, we just have to make sure that we can actually get pallets of that. So that's the only thing. Stone pine, birch, oak, willow, maple. Oh, please be in here. Oh no, it's not in here. Okay, so we can't, do we have to do it with, because uh, it's quite a bit better. Uh, we can do ponderosa pine with this. Okay, and that's, oh, that's so expensive to plant those. So it is very, very good to plant it. Um, the other thing that we could do is lodgepole pine is not bad either. That's the next most valuable one. We might have to do that. It's just about $100 less per meter that we're going to make on that per meter. Over $100 less per meter, which is crazy. So, um, but we might have to do that. So let's go back to the pallet. That was, I was, I was afraid of that. Um, and it should hopefully work. So let's look for lodgepole. Is lodgepole pine in here? Oh gosh, it's not in here either. All the expensive ones are not in here for this guy. Uh, so we definitely don't want to do pine. Stone pine is actually pretty good. So we could do stone pine and we could do that. So stone pine, it's $219 per, per meter if we cut it in six meter lengths. Um, yeah, I mean, 219 compared to the 270 or 220, it's like 220 versus the 270, it's $50 less a meter. But it's 100, 150 or 100, almost $160 less a meter compared to Ponderosa Pine. But I just think we can't afford it uh, right now to go for the more expensive one. Because obviously a $12,000 pallet, given it's 200 trees in that pallet, that's going to be a little bit too much. So I think we're going to have to go this route, um, which is a little bit of a bummer. But we will make it work. And I want to do at least two of those. Um, okay, then we can go to equipment. We're going to lease. Uh, where's it at here? Forestry equipment. We're gonna lease this guy. Yes, okay. And then we're gonna go to tractors. Go way down here to where these guys are. And this is the one we we're gonna lease right here. Uh, we're gonna get the engine on the, or the, not the engine on the front, the uh, front weight on there. Okay, and it should, that should all work. So let's lease that. Yep, 1555. Why was it 1810 last time I was looking in here? Oh, we need a bigger engine though. Why is that not enough horsepower? Oh, what's right? It was this one we we're going for. That's why. Okay. Yeah, because this one has 150 horsepower. Okay. And then we put the front weight on there. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, we don't need. I really don't need that. Okay. Standard. Um, wheel weights might actually be. That actually might be kind of helpful for us. That more helps if you have something in the front. So actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go no wheel weights on that. Okay, let's lease that. 1810, yep, okay. So. Let's see how this goes. I think this should be fine. If we turn it on. Yep, we can pull forward. And it doesn't, it doesn't lift it up very high, but I think this is, this is going to work out just fine for what we're doing. So we're just going to have to drive back down and get the other pallet when we're ready for it. So, oh, I don't want to crash with you when I'm merging. Sorry, car. 26, not too bad. And we're not having any issues getting around. So this is actually right about perfect for us. So this will be good. 
Um, okay. I... Oh, gosh, that car turned right in front of us. I was definitely on that car. They had a stop sign there. Yep, they did. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, so I will drive up to... We don't. How far do we have to go? It is a long ways up there. Yep, it's an absolute disasterly long way. So I will see you guys here in a second once I make it all the way up there. Then we'll plant some trees. And then I think that's honestly about where we'll wrap up this episode because that'll be about all we can get done. So I think that'll be good. But yeah, we'll plant 40 trees. That'll be real good for us. So um, yep, I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, we are here. Now I just need to decide where I want to try to plant these. Because yes, we don't have a ton of room. Honestly, probably, actually, probably a little bit deeper in here. I could plant them along the road, honestly. That might not be a bad idea, actually. Do we have any ponderosa pine either? That's what I'm curious about. This is not one there. It's a spruce. Lodgepole pine. That one's not bad. That one's pretty good, actually, as well. Those are, those are going to be worth a decent amount of cash. Sequoias are actually going to do the best for us per meter, theoretically. I don't see any ponderosa pine up here. Those are definitely the best, though. Apparently. See, up through here would be a good spot maybe to plant. There's a couple of rocks there, but... Run back down here. I'm betting we can... We can do some, we can do some in different areas as well. So like here, there's a good space, so we could probably put a few in here. Yeah, I actually might put a loop around this uh, ponderosa pine here. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that'll be good. forward through here a little bit there's some good space through here so I think we'll put some just right across this area back up a little bit this is not the greatest tractor but it is definitely perfect for our purposes I think I think right through even starting back here will be fine Just a line of them up here. But yeah, I think this will be good because this way these guys will start actually growing um, for us. That way we can hopefully have more trees to harvest when it's time for us to actually harvest them. And obviously we have enough right now to keep us busy, but this will help out quite a bit, I think. So. Let me put one more. There is some room through here as well. One there. And then right, we could, well, we could definitely put some through here. Actually, these seven might go right here. I think they'll all fit, but that'll be good. I don't know if we can adjust the planting width on these or not. I couldn't, can't remember this planter here or not. One more there. Okay, there we go. Uh, so what I am going to do, I'm going to run back down to the store. I'm going to grab the remaining 20 trees, and I'm probably going to plant them. I mean, honestly, I might put a couple more here. I could go along the road, but I think up here, I only really want to go into the water, but I think I could probably plant some. Yeah, there's plenty of space up here for sure, so I might plant them all up there. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty flat for the most part. Obviously, there's some hills on it, but it's mostly flat, so um, I'm going to run back up to the store, 
I'm going to grab our other pallet of trees, and then I'm going to get them planted, then I'll bring you guys back in to close out the episode. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, so we planted everything. 40 trees at least. Go down here. Last couple are down here. One there. And oh, one in there. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I planted some up through here and the flat areas and stuff like that. So hopefully pretty easy for us to harvest in the future, and hopefully we can use the harvester that we want to use to harvest them with so it's a little bit cheaper and easier and everything else but it will be nice to be up here actually getting and that's actually honestly to start i didn't really think about this we don't need a tree harvester to start we can get rid of all the sequoias because we have to use a chainsaw anyways but yeah because we can't otherwise do it so um yeah that'll make that easier so yeah I think that's what I got for us. Um, so, um, yeah, that's that's where we'll wrap it up there for today. I will get the uh, tractor and planter returned. Um, Welcome everyone to episode 19 of Silver Run Forest. As you can probably guess by the title, I have some sad news. This is our last episode on Silver Run. I'm not gonna really do anything on the episode, just talk a little bit about why I'm kind of ending it. Um, yeah, so the reason, I guess I'll just start off with that. The reason I am ending this series is because, um, well, obviously it's been a while since I uploaded the last video. Um, I know that doesn't necessarily mean anything, just because I know obviously you guys understand I'm busy and stuff like that. And some of you guys watching the series later, this uh, gap won't actually exist. But it's been about two and a half months since I uploaded the last episode to this, just because my work schedule's been crazy. My work schedule's starting to ease up a little bit, so I'm starting to get back into doing some more videos. Um, I think that this uh, this series has kind of run its course. I don't think we got where I wanted to get on it, which is true. We didn't get as far as I'd like to. Um, however, I think that it'll be better off in the long run if I focus on um, doing some more maps. There's some new mod maps that have been released in the last year that are really cool. There's some of those that I might want to try to get on and try to do. Um, in addition to that, there's the premium version of the game coming out. Um, here in about a month, just over a month. So I might want to do a series on that. So um, obviously I have Silver Run going, Michigan Farms going, which is a live series. That one's actually almost done as well. That one will go to a logical conclusion. I apologize about this for not doing that. And then No Man's Land, yes, though, I have had a long time since I've uploaded that. That one will continue. That's kind of a, uh, that's just kind of an ongoing series that kind of happens in the background of my channel. So that one will probably be one episode every week or so. Um, and then I will probably start a new series where I try to do two to three episodes a week of that new series. So that's kind of the goal. But yeah, if you remember, we started off just with this little truck and no money. We have made it pretty far on here. Um, what do we own? Well, we own this truck right here. Um, we own this truck. Obviously, we just talked about that. We own the back to this truck. We have a chainsaw um, and we have some marking spray. <laughs> and that is what we own. Uh, we did not really make it that far. But to be fair, let's go into flight mode. Let's just look around here for a bit. Uh, so obviously we have cleared a lot of trees up here. There's still quite a few up here as well to go. We've been clearing for uh, Richard, and we, we honestly have done quite a bit of forestry up here. I know it doesn't look that impressive, uh, but there was a lot of trees up here. Um, and I don't think there's any statistics on this because we are in we played it in multiplayer, so it doesn't give me those statistics, uh, which is kind of a bummer. So we can't see necessarily like how many we've done. Uh, we've hauled a lot of iron down to this place right here, if you remember all doing all that. Um, and that was why we bought our truck and all that. Uh, we stayed at the motel up over here. Um, and we finally did the last episode buy ourselves our first piece of land um, just up over here. We can remember that right here, which I actually planted the wrong trees in. So we would have had to cut these down with a chainsaw. Uh, so that was my bad there. But uh, yeah, there's our tractor there from that. Um, but yeah, we did buy. Go to the map here. Sorry, my game is running really slow right now for whatever reason. It's actually making my computer work pretty hard. I don't know why. <laughs> Normally this game is not hard for this computer. I have a 3080 in here. Uh, but anyhow, so that was the piece of land that we bought up over here was this chunk right over here. Richard owns the rest and that's the uh, people that own the, what we call the iron mill. But we finally bought a chunk of land. So we were making progress. Honestly, we were doing really good on the series and I think it would have, uh, we would have done really well if we continue to work towards uh, doing that. But I think that just in general, I think this, and, and as well, I mean, this wasn't the, most viewed series or anything like that. Forestry series are sometimes kind of tough um, to do. They're not necessarily the most viewed series, but you guys did seem to like it pretty much. And I really appreciate everyone who watched it up to this point and uh, watched it to where I'm ending it. Um, 
Yeah, uh, we did we did a lot on here. We spent a lot of hours on here. I actually might try to load in. We might try to load in and see if I can't load in the game um, in single player since we're it doesn't matter anymore. We can merge. There's our belt system that we use to do everything. Uh, but yeah, I might try to load in single player and see if it gives us some stats or how long we played on or anything like that. So uh, I might just do that. Let me load that in just so we can take a look at that because I think that'd be kind of cool to see. Okay, so I loaded back in. Obviously, all the farms merged. Um, it did say we had 26 hours. Do we have the stats now? We do. So the statistics now we have here. Oh, we didn't do a lot of farm work, really. Really nothing. Um, work time. There's, oh, there we go. Driving distance, 135 miles of driving distance. That's wild. Time played. Oh, wow. Never mind. It wasn't 26 hours. 113 hours total, it says. Uh, so we spent a lot of time in here. Trees cut down. Only 175. Seems like we would cut down more. I feel like we did more, but still. Uh, still very cool. We did complete one forestry mission. Um, no roller coaster rides. Um, missing. I'm not sure what that's about there. Uh, we used quite a bit of fuel. That makes sense. But uh, yeah, trees planted 40. So there's our statistics. It did say 26 steps. That's weird. It might have, I don't know what that was about. But uh, it doesn't make sense that we spent a lot of time on here. But uh, yes, um, great series overall. I mean, I really did enjoy doing this. And then, I mean, to be fair, just to Giants, this is a fantastically done map this is really well done i really enjoyed playing on this map i know it was a forestry map so not everyone was happy about it and um, we didn't really do any i mean i was i had some plans this series to get this baby fixed up but we never got there we just never did we just never did but that's okay i really enjoyed this series and where where we went with it and i think that's that's pretty cool and cool enough in itself so yeah that's what i got for you guys that is the end of the series i know a sad ending probably for most of you, and I apologize it being a little anticlimactic, but uh, I just think that it's time to move on to some different stuff, and I think that uh, most of you guys will probably agree that it would be cool to see some new stuff on the channel and everything like that. So I think overall this will be for the best um, long term. I think this will be better. I know it's not the best, and I know a few of you guys that are hardcore fans of this series are definitely going to be bummed. And this won't be the last Forestry series I ever do either, so um, I will do another one. I usually did. I did a, a series on Willamina Forest, where I built a farm or built a town and a farm up from nothing, just cutting down just trees and chopping away and doing that. And that was a fun series. And I would like to do one like that at some point again. Not sure if it'll happen on Farming Simulator 22, but maybe on Farming Simulator 25, if that is the next game that's going to be released. That's what my guess is going to be, but obviously nothing official has been announced yet. But uh, uh, there you guys go. That is what I got. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this series. Um, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button or that follow button to join me on the Farmer Cop channel. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys on my next series.